uh, the parts that we've done so far, there hasn't been any music whatsoever. So, uh, so I will have that going there. All right. Let's do it. Yep, Leonard Nimoy time traveling. Well, first, let's, uh, let's see what the game says. If you try and load it with an older, older save. I'm pretty sure I got the... Ah, shit, I gotta reboot my, uh, controller monitor here. I had to restart everything earlier, so let's, uh, let's see if I can get this working again. Uh... Okay, COM port 3, and then Dreamcast. There we go, alright. There we go. Okay, this is very important, you see inputs for this one. Alright, C-Man. Yeah, 18 wheeler. Hell of a game that one. Um, the where I get the music is uh, there's a website called rainwave.cc, and that has it's like an internet radio station for video game music. Hey, Ann. Hey, Jeff. Uh, rainwave.cc. R a i n w a v e. Of the Dreamcast internal clock does not match the time setting of your Seaman Habitat file. The time setting of the Dreamcast internal clock may be incorrect. Please adjust it if necessary. It is necessary. All right. All right, Leonard Nimoy, we shall do as you instruct. So the last time that we we played the game was November 19th, 2019. So we'll uh, we'll set the date to November 20th, 2019. And then we'll just keep going from there. All right. So yeah, that that's what happens if your uh, uh, if your clock is set earlier than your save files date is. So for us to address that, we're gonna have that selected first, and then hit the Y button. Go to the system menu. All right. So it currently says that we are November twenty seventh, nineteen ninety eight. <laughs> sure. Uh, and we need to change that. I actually changed out the battery on my, uh, on my Dreamcast, like, a week or so ago in preparation for, uh, for all this. And... At midnight, 11, 10... Okay, close enough. This, th this military time always gets me every time. All right. Yeah, Leonard Nimoy. He's going to be very upset with us. Okay. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about the, the truck driving good games evening. on Dreamcast. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. Good to You're be doing back. A good job. At the moment, the habitat contains four gill men. They All are right. suffering from the cold. <gasps> Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. Let's do it. All right. It's eventually turned to frog? Probably. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know that much about this game. Uh, we'll, we'll find out together, I guess. All right. This is the Seaman experience right here. Oh man, big mother truckers. It's chilly. I got uh I got both of the big mother truckers games on PS2 for PS2 Hot for TV. What was the? They had some some amazing oh, subtitles good. for that one. Hurrah! Hurrah! Time. Oh, good! Yay! Uh oh, I guess it was just Big Mother Truckers and Big Mother Truckers too. The um, the the PAL release, the European release of Big Mother Truckers, had some really fucking lewd title to it. <laughs> I forgot what it is though. Hey, chaos. 
Okay, so we we can't go over twenty, so we'll we'll just keep that there. At least I I think so. I think. All right. I, it's been so long since we've been a a seaman keeper. Hey. Up oh, up. Oh. All right. Bad things are afoot over here apparently. Oh. What's happening? Oh God. See, man. Hey. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it's the miracle of life. And see, man. Can we? All right. Let's uh, let's actually feed him. Uh, let's see. How do we do this? It's like this, and then that, and then we have to hit that, and then. Okay. All right. How many? Uh, so we have three left now. Okay, we have we have three survivors currently. What was that? Yeah, me. We still eating? I Feels guess. Like chicken. Oh. See, man. Hello, Seaman. Hello. How you doing today, Seaman? Seaman? Hello? Sure. Seaman? Hi. Hello. How are you today, Seaman? See, man. Um, you got it. Yeah. Sure. You jerk. Me? What? Why? What? What? What did I do, see, man? Fine. Okay. Maybe they just wanted more food. I suppose we'll find out shortly. Well, maybe they don't. All right. Hey, stop it. Hey, stop it. It's making me scared. Don't squeeze me so tight. Put me back. Put all right, fine. Okay. And there's that one still, still hanging out over there. <laughs> uh, so we can, we can grab this thing, but we can't do anything with it. And then like these, we can very slowly move around. We can only move it back a little bit and. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what those are all about. Seaman? Yes? How you doing today, Seaman? Seaman, Seaman? Sure. Not very talkative today, I see. Blah, blah, blah. Don't squeeze me so tight. Put me down. No, stop it. I'm scared. Did you learn your lesson, Seaman? Seaman, Seaman. There you go. All right. Good. 
Got him. Okay, well. Oh, that one's about to eat. Okay. I guess the other ones aren't eating today. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's all we can really do today. There's, uh, some days you don't really accomplish much in, in Seaman Land. Save and end the session? I would, Leonard Nimoy. Okay. So this was 1120. So I'm just making a note of this. And it's going to be 1121 next. Let's make a note of things here. Okay. All right. Time for the incredible Dreamcast boot sound. So this is this is through VGA capture, by the way, and the sound is a digital audio, uh, digital audio directly from the the DAC on the uh, on the motherboard. So this is almost as good as it can look and sound. From the, uh, oh, jeez. Nope. We gotta, I forgot, we gotta change the, <laughs> the time. All right. I'm also not sure if I should count the Gilman deaths as deaths, but I guess there's precedent for that, so let's, uh, let's do that. Okay. All right. Okay. It's that easy. All right. What's new in Seaman Land? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. I am. First, a recap of your previous visit. The Gill men have begun to suck each other's blood using the tubes on their heads. Did you notice? I did. At the moment, the habitat contains three Gill men. Okay. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Sure. What about some theme park? Okay. So oh, we're doing a good job. Yep, exactly. The positive reinforcement of Synthine Park made it into uh, the sun. Oh, good. Right. Hey. Okay. Turn on the light. Woohoo! Woohoo! About time. Now this is pod racing. Yeah. Hey, Cloud. About time. Oh, goody. <laughs> the seamen oh, think the ticket goody. prices are a little low. Mm, better. Hey, boys. Yeah, they made Odama. I actually, I have Odama and I have the, uh, the microphone. I've never played the game, but for some reason on a whim in like 2007 or something, I, uh... I bought the GameCube microphone. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Sounds like there's more. Yep. All right. We're about to have two Gilman. <laughs> oh, boy. Hello, pain in the ass 3000 from Germany. All right. Can I, uh, can I pick him up when they're doing this? Well, all right. Pour one out.
two guild men remaining. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I play lifeline? Yes. Uh, lifeline is actually a uh, going to be a near-term project. So yes, I, I have a headset for it. Though I discovered when testing Lifeline, um, any any USB microphone will work with Lifeline. It doesn't have to be specifically that Logitech one that they recommend. Uh, the game is smart enough to, to just know like, hey, that's a USB mic and it will just work. Like you could plug in a professional grade um, mic interface to your PS2 <laughs> and it will work. <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> See, man? What? That was a little creepy. Especially right after you murdered your brother. What do you have to say for yourself, Seaman? man What? What? Well, like, for example, my, um, uh, my USB, uh, oh, it's, it's too far away, but, um, the old headset I used to use, uh, the, the big enormous one, um, the USB adapter for that just works. You just plug it into the PS2 and it, it sees it as a, an auto source. Hello, Seaman? Yo. <laughs> How you doing today, Seaman? Seaman? Seaman, Seaman. What's up today, Seaman? Is the temperature just right in your habitat, Seaman? Sure? Alright. But I can't breathe. What? Uh. No, just this way. Here, take a ride on, on these. All right. I'm sure, that's all I can really do. All right. Still hungry, seamen? Seamen? You got it. Are you hungry? Want some food, seamen? What? Sure. Put me back. All right. Perfect. Got to show him who's boss before we turn in for the day. Pretty sure that's all we can really do. There's <laughs> most times in this game, there's only like two minutes worth of stuff to do before you you're kind of done for the day. Would you like to save and end the session? I would, Leonard Demoy. All right. So this was the twenty-first. All right. You can, this is skippable by the way. You can actually hit the the start button during those animations and skip that. Hey Ed, good evening. All right. Good match, All right. I don't know why this auto launches into the game. Like, <laughs> it, it should make me reset every time I do that, but sure, fine. I guess it's slightly more convenient. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory, Jean Paul Gasset. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very well. The number of gill men has decreased due to natural selection. 
It seems cruel, but survival of the fittest is an integral part of their lives. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. They're always suffering from the cold. It's like... <laughs> Let me divulge the highlights for today. I'm not sure, but it seems that Seaman wants a name. <gasps> Pay close attention to what he says. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. Hey, Taster. Hey, Wondering. Suffering from a cold? Yep. It is cold out, isn't it? <laughs> All right. More air. Ah, here we go. Suddenly they have deep voices. <laughs> it's cold, isn't it? Okay, so I think at some point you need to have the heater turned up higher than uh, between 15 or 18 and 20. I'm not sure when that is, though. Oh, goody. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm feeling a little warmer. Hello, Seaman. Oh, oh, no. That might be too hot. Quit it. That's enough. Okay, well, it'll, it'll get there. Hello, Seaman. What's cracking, Seaman? Nope, I'm just fine. Sure? Hey, Seaman. We probably have to wait until the, the temperature goes down. And as we discovered, like, two parts ago, it takes actually forever for the the temperature to go down. Okay. Uh... And this is our last food pellet, so... No, thanks. I'm not hungry now. Oh. Can I... Well, I'm a little hot. Sure. Okay, almost there. 0.2 degrees left, and then they'll be ready to talk. Oh, oh, oh! I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Let me go! Masher! Masher! Let me go, you jerk! Drop me! Now! Whoa, 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 watch the fins. Drop me. Now! Let me go, you jerk! Uh, oh, you're crushing me! What are you doing? Alright, just cooling them off. Come on, let me go! Hey, do I grab you? Come on, let me go! Let me go, you jerk! Drop me. Now! Alright, just, there, I'm cooling them off. It is... Still warm in the tank. I haven't heard most of these remixes. But I haven't, uh, I haven't been on OC Remix in... God, like eight years, maybe? <laughs> Alright, almost ready to talk. It's hot. Almost. Okay. It's kind of hot. All right, there we go. Hey, Z-Man. What do you want? I'd like to give you a name. 
I want to give you a name. Z-Man? Z-Man. What's up? I want to give you a name. Name. What do you want? I want to give you a name. Oh my god. This was not as... This didn't take that long last time. Hey, C-Man. What's up, C-Man? Yes? I want to give you a name. C-Man? How you doing today, C-Man? Talk to me, C-Man. What do you want? I want to give you a name. I must say, you've taken very good care of me up to this point. Uh oh, now saving? What's up, C-Man? What's up? I want to give you a name. I think the... Alright, let me take the, the noise, the pop filter off of the... Okay. Okay, let me see if I can show you this here. That the uh the microphone is oriented on uh on the DC controller. Okay. So here's what the the controller looks like with the the microphone extension on it. So it's it's got the the microphone holes are facing downwards and it's also got this uh this thing on the back here so if if you hold it up like this you're just you're kind of talking into the part that doesn't have an opening so it's it's things like that that i'm trying to trying to figure out and he can't exactly move it either so so that i'm trying to figure out here all right See, man? Maybe you're supposed to hold it like this? Hey, see, man. I'd like to give you a name. Maybe later. Okay. I'll leave you alone for now, see, man. What do you want? Hey, see, man, talk to me. What? What now? Okay, tell me about Japan. It's rather difficult making out what's on the other side of this glass. So let me inquire. Are you a male or a female? Male? Male. You're a male of this species, eh? Okay, so it looks like you gotta you gotta talk into the the back side of it? That's right. Well, I was hoping to meet a lady, but I guess I'm not in a position to be too choosy, am I? Why is his mouth not moving? What else is new, Seaman? Yes? I'd like to give you a name. Seaman? What's up, Seaman? G-Man! What? I'd like to give you a name. Z-Man! What do you want? I want to give you a name! Please! Buh bye Stop it! Let me go! Uh, oh, you're crushing me! See, man, whoa, 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 whoa. I want What's to give you a name. Stop it. See, man, I want to give you a name. What do you want? What's up, see, man? Hey. Hey. Oh. I've got something to say. Oh? Hello. I just remembered something. 
Some of my memories are coming back. There was this French man named Jean-Paul Gasset who was trying to raise me, and he made this cage to hold insects, and there were a lot of really tasty-looking insects in it. Is it still there? Can you take a look? Okay, so after a while, some moth larvae will start growing in there. When that happens, use the L trigger to switch screens and grab a larva and drop it in here. Can you do that for me? This never came up in our, our last playthrough. Oh, so you, okay, we can toggle between our inventory and and this now. Okay, so oh, spray? What? I oh. Maybe this needs to be a hundred. It's still blue, so oh, okay. I uh So those aren't a lot those those are probably just eggs and I guess. Or the, those are, wait, what? Th those are larvae, I guess. All right, let's. AC hey, man. How, What's up? What is up? Do you like this larva I gave you? Seaman? What? Tell me about Japan. So I was led to believe I would be cared for by a fairly young, responsible human being. So far, this has proven to be true, but. I am wondering about your age now. Tell me, are you in your, um, twenties? No. Oh. Hmm. Well, then perhaps you are a teenager. Is this correct? Also, no. All right, I'm tired of guessing. How old are you then? <sighs> 34. You're 34 years old? Yep. Whatever. Goodbye. Okay, good. Good talk. It's really not a difficult question. I said, so I was led to believe I would be cared for by a fairly young, responsible human being. So far, this has proven to be true, but... I am wondering about your age now. Tell me, are you in your, um, twenties? No. No. Oh. Hmm. It looks like you gotta wait well, then for perhaps you a few are seconds. A teenager. Is this correct? No. All right, I'm tired of guessing. How old are you then? 34. You're 34 years old? I can actually hear a beep in the, the audio. Yes. Yes, a 30-something. The body doesn't feel as good the next day after a night of revelry. You can't stay up as late. It's tough growing old, huh? Sure is, Seaman. All right. Apparently, this is gonna be our our Seaman. What's up, Seaman? Man? 
Seaman? Seaman, I'd like to give you a name. Seaman. Talk to me. So, what month is your birthday in? March. You were born in March? Yes. That's a pretty windy month for a birthday. I hope you get a lot of sweaters. Sure. Hey, after. Uh, it's windy year round here, sea man. That's the Bay Area for you. Sea man? I can actually hear there's like a high pitched a high pitched sound that comes on each time C Man is ready to to say something. And I wonder if that's like the if that's digital um digital noise from the processor. Hey C Man. Let's be sure and get my name right, skin puppet. So what day is your birthday on? The third. The 30th? No. No. Then when is your birthday? Third. Yeah, there's a, there's a beep. The third. The 30th? No. Then when is your birthday? Three. The third? Yes. I'll try to remember <laughs> that, but there won't be any quiz, right? Oh, yes, there will be. Uh-oh. Seaman to the rescue. Uh, oh, you're crushing me. All right, Seaman. When is yes. my birthday? When is my birthday? See, man? Hello? What is your name, Seaman? man I'd like to give you a name. See, man What's up? Uh, the ceiling? What do you want? I want to give you a name. Alright. See, man What do you want? I want to give you a name. Well, maybe we're waiting till the next in-game day, I guess. See, man what's up? My hackles, you mouth breather. Go away. Oh, fuck you, see, man How about that? How about Not fuck you? Much. So little then? What do you want? See, man, talk to me. What's up? Sure. Yes. I'd like to give you a name. See, man? Give me some plot progression here, see, man. Don't leave me hanging. What's up. <sighs> okay. turned out the lights hey i'm trying to sleep in here well uh sure would you like to save and end the session all right maybe the next oh i forgot to turn the timer on apparently perhaps the next in-game day all right
So this was the 22nd. Yeah, I think it is checking for a flag. Like, it, it's, it's actually kind of weird that you can hear the CPU doing something. Whenever you uh, you talk to C-Man. All right. Okay. 23rd. What has Leonard Nimoy got to say this time? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. I am. Let's see. You have obtained the insect cage. This will be helpful in raising more food for Seaman. Keep your eye on it. Something will happen within shortly. Oh? Oh. The spray. The insect cage is equipped with a spray to keep the moisture level up. Please, don't forget to use it. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Allow me to give you the highlights for today. Gillman has been growing and would love some variety in his meals. Try giving him some larva from the other tank. I'm sure he'll be pleased. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. I did give him larva, though. Huh. All right. All right. Oh, sweet oxygen. Hey, it's getting cold. Turn the heat up. Oh, goody. It's about time. Well, I like to think it's as Leonard Nimoy is just a spooky ghost who has haunted the lab, and he's not able to, uh, to help Someone out. Someone over here wants to eat. Okay. I could use a snack. Right, they're very hungry, apparently. Okay. They're very hungry, but they're not gonna... Uh... Maybe those hatch into things that they eat eventually? Oh! Oh! Huh. Oh, yummy baity goodness. Huh. I'm, I'm a little hungry. Oh, man. Yum. Ooh. Oh gee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh wait, did he did he die? Oh I'm a fat sea man now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you are. What's up? Lose some weight, sea man. Alright.
<laughs> oh, this one's like blue. Okay. Is that because I dropped it? <laughs> I, uh. Okay, this one, this one might be dead. Okay, what's... Wait, that, that's, that's his larvae. What is... Huh. Okay. Oh man, this, this spray... Be nice if there were a quicker way to do that. Okay. What's up, Seaman? What? How was your day today, Seaman? I've been thinking about this, and if my calculations are correct, you must be a Pisces. Just like me. You know, Pisces often make sacrifices for the people they care about. This is sweet. I can just tell you're going to take great care of me. Sure. What's up? Well, I'll talk to you later, my friend. Okay. Goodbye, Seaman. Hey, Seaman. What's going on, Seaman? Hello? See, man? What's up? What's up with you? I'd like to give you a name. See, man? Name. Name. What do you want? I want to give you a name. See, man? Yes. So... Wait, there's a plant over here now. Was this... Was this there before? Hmm. Hey, Aquas. Uh... Yeah, I remember there was there was like a set amount of questions that he asked during the day. And I'm not sure if the I'll talk to you later thing is uh is it means that we're done for the day or if he wants to talk later in the Oh oh jeez. See man, no clipping out of bounds. What the hell is going on out there? Exactly. You just are you a ghost? What do you want? Uh, I want to know what. Up. Uh, uh, how did you go underneath the floor? Stay in the tank, sea man. All right, good talk, sea man. What? Okay. Sure. First time C Man viewer yeah, this this game is, is certainly something. Certainly something. Hello, C Man. C Man, I want to give you a name. Stop trying to leave the tank, C Man. Your home is here now. Forever. C Man. See, man, let's talk. See, man. All right, I I guess they're done for the day. It doesn't give me the the hey 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 I want to talk today. So, hey, let's give them one of these, I suppose. No thanks, I'm not hungry now. Okay, 
Sure. I don't believe there's a VMU function for uh, for this one. The only thing that it's showing here. Let me let me give an example of of what the VMU does during this game. So by default, it just looks like this. But if we if we talk to C Man. And then hit the A button. C-Man? What's up? How you doing today, C-Man? C-Man. What do you want? So it, it changes to that uh, that exclamation mark uh, symbol. Whenever it's uh, determined that the the game recognized that you said something. But that's that's about as much... VMU interaction as I've seen this game have so far. So not much. All right. Okay. Are we done for today, Seaman? Yes. I want to give you a name. Seaman? Seaman? Okay. This, <laughs> this is much slower like going. And end this Actually, no. Not yet. We gotta... Mother, I'm frightened. We gotta kiss the homies goodnight like first. Save and end the session? There we go. Alright. Yeah, the VMU didn't really get used as much as it probably should have, but, but then again, it probably got used about as much as it should have. All right. Okay, so that was the 23rd. So up another day. Uh, yeah. All right. You can also tell there when the when the Dreamcast stops accepting inputs. Alright. What's new, Leonard Nimoy? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. I am. Let's see. The eggs in the insect cage have hatched into larva. It is important to raise them carefully. If you put too many larva into the tank, you may find yourself running out of food for Seaman later. Uh -oh. If you manage the larva well, you should have no problem keeping Seaman well fed. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. All right. Maybe today, Seaman will let me give him a name. All right. So it seems I got to be pretty careful with the... Uh, with the larva. Oh, sweet oxygen. That plant Do something. That got a lot larger really since uh cold in here. Since the last day. I'm cold. I'm freezing. in here. It's about time. All right. So after this, we'll check in on our bug tank. Oh, goody. I'm freezing. 
It's about time. So this, uh, this over here, by the way, is the thermometer, if I remember correctly. Enough. Oh, jeez. Okay. Eh. Good morning. Chow time yet? Okay. Someone over here wants to eat. All right. I guess they want to eat. I guess I could just leave one in there. No sense leaving them in the, uh... In the inventory. But hopefully I didn't already screw that up and... Hey, thanks for the food. And get softlocked. Yum, food. Listen up. What's up, Seaman? Hey, I love our weekend nights alone together. Me too. Sweet as sugar, baby. There's three of us, though. Four if you count the ghost of Leonard Nimoy. He likes to watch, you know. But how you doing, Seaman? What's up? I want to give you a name. Seaman? Talk to me, buddy. What's up? Hello, other Seaman. What do you want? How you doing today? What? How are you? When is my birthday, Seaman? What's up? Did you already forget? Seaman? Hello? Seaman? See, man. Yes. Talk to me. How's the weather down there? No. Leave me alone. Okay. What's up? Oh. Oh. See, man. What? How you doing? See, man. Seaman? Hello? I would like to make progress, Seaman. Yes. Let's talk. Do you want the heater up, Seaman? See, man? What do you want? Let's talk. I want to give you a name. See, man? Okay, is there... There's something in the manual I'm missing here. Uh... Uh, feeding your seaman, cleaning. Kiss your seaman, good night. All right. 
Cause a deterioration of Seaman's mood. If you're violent towards or speak rudely to Seaman. Well, shit. Uh, strange or foreign terms that Seaman doesn't understand. Willfully and consistently repeat the same types of words over and over again. Uh... Maybe Seaman does not like me calling him Seaman over and over again. And that's, uh... And that's causing me to lose progress, perhaps? Uh... VMU controls, yeah. Storage matrix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, there is a VMU function for this, but it's for, like, multiplayer, so... Not something I particularly care about. Uh... Okay. So apparently we need to be nicer to our C-Man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seaman. I'll be nice to you now. You're not fat. Shut up. Well then. You're looking good today. Did you get a haircut? It looks nice. How you doing today? Still swimming? Hello? Okay, good talk. Well, we got a, a now saving notification, so something clearly happened. Maybe it was a, a bug thing. Uh. Oh, I'm blind. Maybe they want it to be warmer than 18.5. Let's just see. Let's just get it up to 20. Still, oh geez, okay. So that's the one we left in there before. And it's just doing larva things. Uh oh. I think I might have screwed up by leaving that other pod thing over here. Hello, Seaman. What's new with you today? Anything new, Seaman? Let's talk. Seaman. I want to give you a name. Oh, man. They're just, they just don't want to talk at all anymore. Would you like to talk? Tell me, what do you do for a living? I play video games on the internet. Okay, I'm going to try this once more. What do you do for a living? I play games on the internet. You're in the sex industry? <laughs> yes. Now, I bet health insurance isn't among the benefits in your line of work. <laughs> You're a funny guy. This might be ugly. You may want to look away. Excuse me? What did you do? This might be ugly. You may want to look away. Is, is he pooping? 
What the fuck? I, uh... Huh. Well... Sure. What's up? Hey, let's talk. How you doing, Seaman? What's up? Well, at least you warned me beforehand. Hey, Seaman. Well, I think that pretty much covers it. Later. Ah. Okay, sounds like we're done for the day then. Sure. Well, it's it fertilized the the habitat, I guess. Sure. Would you like to? Oh man, is this uh, is this wild arms? All right. So we are on the, this should be the 25th now. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Ah. Let's see. Oh, yes. They have started to produce droppings. The tubes on their heads serve many purposes. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Allow me to divulge today's highlights. <gasps> oh? Would you like to give Seaman a name? I would. Call one of the gillmen and try saying, I will give you a name. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. Can do. It only took like three days longer than I thought it would. Hmm. How about turn it? Ah. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's a bit cold. Oh, goody. Yay! What's up? Good evening. Good evening. Yes, right. As if. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you a name. 
I will give you a name. See, man? What? I want to give you a name. I will name you. I could use a snack. What's this? This is the last one in here. I think I might have screwed up by putting both of those uh, those pod things in the, the habitat. I thought those were the edible things, and I couldn't like I couldn't pick them up. So those those are the pod things. It's turned into those. Oh, good. Ooh. Oh, good. Ooh. My compliments to the chef. Mm -hmm, good. Okay, so they do that when they're happy, I guess. Hey, C man. I want to name you. I want to name you. I want to give you a name. Yes. I want to name you. Name. Oh my god. I want to name you. Good evening. Hey, look who's here. I want to give you a name. I want to name you. No, leave me alone. Okay. Eh? All right, what about this one? Good evening, Seaman. Hello, Seaman. I want to name you. Tell me about yourself, Seaman. I want to name I you. I was wondering, are you married? No. You're unmarried? Yes. Really? Yes. Hey, that's okay. Don't listen to people who say you need to get married. It's an antiquated notion, really. Yeah. You you tell him, see man. You tell him. I want to name you. No, leave me alone. Okay, man. I really pissed him off earlier, I guess. Okay. Well. Alright, I'm really hoping that something, something does anything over here when we, <laughs> when we reload the next day. Uh, I was able to name them last time. I was able to name them on like day, day three last time. So this is... Would you like to save and end the session? Oh. Actually, let's, let's leave the lights on. Would you like to save... I would lend any more. So I was able to name him before, and I named him the law. But apparently I have upset my seamen so much. One survivor last time? I can't remember. I, I could have sworn we still had two. Okay. Alright, we're on the 26th.
All right, Leonard Nimoy. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. At the moment, the habitat contains two gill men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Allow me to give you the highlights for today. Would you like to give Seaman a name? Yes. Call one of the gillmen and try saying, I will give you a name. So let us head over to the tank. I will give you a name is the exact phrase that he says. Okay. I will say exactly that. Turning up the heat. It's about time. Oh goody. Oh goody. Alright, really hoping that there's larva in the other screen. Finally starting to defrost. I'm thinking about some food, eh? All right, there better be something on the the insect tank, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. Shit. Uh. I probably was supposed to keep those pods in here, I guess. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Well, maybe, maybe they'll appear suddenly some other day. Good evening. Is it chow time yet? Not yet. I will give you a name. What do you want? I will... Hey! Hello. Hello. I will give you a name. Good evening, Seaman. What's up? I love the power oh, oh, okay. So Good evening, Seaman. I could use a snack. You know, I could really eat. I got bad news for you. There's no food left. Hey, watch the F. Word, air sucker. What? I. Food? I will give you a name. What's up? Alright, that one clearly doesn't like me. See, man? I'm a little hungry. I will give you a name. You know, I could really eat. Uh oh. I, I think I fucked up here. <laughs> uh. uh. Man, this is... This is pretty unforgiving. See, man? 
No food. I will give you a name. Z-Man? No, not yet. Okay. Z-Man. What's up, Z-Man? Hello? It's not even understanding anything. Hello? I'm kind of hungry. Seaman. Yeah, this one just doesn't want to talk at all. All right, well, I'll, I, I have a feeling we have to start over. By the way, I. Uh... Okay. Like to save and. Sure. Let, let's see if we get any food to spawn next time. I'm pretty sure this is this is another wipe. By the way, unless we can get more. Uh, more of those larvae to spawn. Cause shit, I had no idea. <laughs> like there's there's no in-game mechanism for telling me that those things won't respawn. That's just something we have to learn apparently. Shit. There's nothing in the manual at all about those things. Alright. Man. And that would have been like a week real time of all that too. Okay, here's an entire week of progress just gone because you didn't understand how to utilize the, the insect cage. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. I am? At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are starving. Feed them at once, or I, they will die. I... Uh, with what? Allow me to divulge today's highlights. Would you like to give Seaman a name? I would. Call one of the gillmen and try saying, I will give you a name. So let us head over to the tank. <coughs> what? What? That's new. Why, why is he coughing? Uh, I, I think it's over, boys. Hey, I'm starving. Feed me. It's about time. I think it's over. Well, naming them... Naming them isn't going to do any good if they're going to starve to death anyways. Right? Yeah, they're, the Gilman is their, their current stage of evolution. Goody. Ah, warmth. Food. Well, I, uh, we got these cool plants in here now, but yeah, they're clearly, that one's clearly hey, upset. Listen up. Hey, what's up? Hey. Food. <laughs> Give me some food. No food. See, man? Hey, I'm starving. Feed me. Gilman. Give me some food. But... Uh, Are you going to starve me to death? Yes. Hey, I'm starving. Feed me. I'm 
sorry. Hey. Food. Give me some food. I'm sorry, Seaman. I need to eat something. I... I... Hey, I'm starving. Feed me. <sighs> I'm sorry. Feed me. Seaman, I'm sorry. It's time to go. I'm dying of hunger here. Would you like to save and end the session? I'm sorry, Seaman. All right. Surely everything will be fine next time. We're going to get food to, to suddenly spawn in. And everything will be great. Uh, they ate all the pellets of food. They already ate all of them. And you're supposed to generate food from the, uh, the insect tank. But I had no idea that those, um, those kind of oval-shaped things were, uh... Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Where how more lava gets spawned. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. I'm doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. Okay. They're still alive. They appear to be very hungry. Mm -hmm. Allow me to give you the highlights for today. Would you like to give Seaman a name? Call one of the gillmen and try saying, I will give you a name. So let us head over to the tank. He's not coughing this time. All right, I can hit start and see if he coughs. Nope, no cough this time. Weird. All right, seamen. Man, that that's really annoying. That uh. Okay, is there? Yeah. Give me something to eat. I'm starving. Would you like to... Well, Steven. I think it's time to, uh... To wipe out the habitat. And start over again. Good lord. It takes like half an hour to do the first day's things. But... I think we have to at this point. Because it's, it's clearly... We're clearly soft locks. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Okay. All right. So there's the the storage and the user data. So the this is um this thing here is a VMU game because you can see it says it says game on there, and then the one on the left is the actual save game data. But I, I'm pretty sure you have to delete both. All right. All right, see men. We we have learned learned our lesson this time. Okay. So it is November 26th still. Oh boy. This memory card does not contain saved Seaman data. Would you like to create new data? Sure. Well, the problem is is that uh, uh we did this last time that even if all of your seamen die, um you don't get your food back. <laughs> so we've actually this is our third time restarting the game. Because we learned last time that uh, if they all die, you have to, to the laboratory completely burn it all essay. down. You'll witness before you a phenomenon like no other. A man of the sea. Sea man. This legendary creature will be dependent on you for its life's blood. You'll begin right here in Gasset's laboratory. 
Where is this laboratory? What awaits you within? You have no idea what Seaman is or how it evolves. This is something you must find out for yourself. Ah. As there is little documentation to help you on your way. Yeah, I, I've I learned. I learned Nimoy, and I will be your guide. Well, this is your first day with the Seaman kit. Your first step will involve preparing the tank for Seaman's arrival. Adjust the tank settings to be an adequate temperature with sufficient oxygen. Yeah, the sign breathes. While adjusting, keep in mind that blue is the color of the sea, and thus an appropriate color for the care of Seaman. Then take the egg from the storage matrix and place it in the tank. The water's temperature is key to the hatching of the egg. Once hatched, the Nautilus will play a very important role in Seaman's development. Each time you visit this laboratory, I'll be here to offer advice and guidance. If you tire of my voice, you may press the start button to skip at any time. I will never get tired of you, Very Leonard Nimoy. Well. Let us proceed to the tank. All right. Hmm. Actually, maybe it does that if you if you skip his dialogue early. Maybe that's what the cough is and the the hmm. Okay. All right, so there's going to be nothing exciting going on for like half an hour. <laughs> well, realistically for the whole stream, but especially not exciting for half an hour. <laughs> Cuz that's like that's how long this first phase takes. It takes uh, like easily 30 minutes. Uh Oh man, you can interrupt the the advisor and PC sim thing park. That's already a huge improvement over over a PlayStation version. Okay, we also learned last time, do not let the heater get, let's, uh, let's double check, because I screwed up last time by setting the heater way too high for, um, for the beginning. Uh, tickle sea man. You can tickle sea man, apparently? With the X button? Alright, day one. Transfer eggs to the tank. Uh, tap it. Um, well, oh shit. I, th I think it's less than twenty, though. Between 15 and 20 is what we want this to be. Pretty sure that's all we can we can really do here for <laughs> the foreseeable future for a little bit. All right.
Uh, okay. And now we wait. So we wait for these to turn into mushroomers. And actually, I'm going to step away while this is while this is doing this. <laughs> I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, should be back with this now. Okay. All right, looks like I missed a whole lot here. A whole lot of not much. Okay, so we're still waiting for this to, to do its thing. Okay, no need to do much else here. Just waiting for this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Much faster than the last time we did that. Okay, so then next is... We need to bring... The mushroomers down over here. Like this. to wake up our little buddy here. Okay. That went much faster than the last time we did this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we got to keep the... Keep those... Over by this thing. So it has to eat four of them.
Yeah. Yeah, these this stage of the sea man is uh is a whole lot nicer than the later ones. But we've learned our lesson now. Okay, so now the the miracle of life should happen fairly soon here. All right. So let's see. Uh, so PS Explosion. Hey, LCC. So upcoming PS Explosion, we got Bomberman Fantasy Race and Tiny Tank. Um, Bomberman is probably going to be, I'm guessing, a two to three hour game. So one sitting game for that one. And then Tiny Tank, I'm not sure. I'm guessing that one's probably eight hours because it's a, a later PS1 uh, action game. Even if it is, like, arcade-ish. Um, that one's probably going to be eight, I'm guessing. What C-Man number is it? Like, part number? Because we're on, we're on part nine of C-Man. And we've had nine of them. Nine of them have died so far. Uh, but this is full attempt number uh, three, I think. This is the start of our third third habitat, I guess. Third try at a habitat. Um, and yeah, as far as uh, uh, the next casual games, next backlog stuff, uh, I was planning on starting Steel Battalion, which is the the Xbox game with the enormous dual stick controller and the the pedals. Because uh, I've been meaning to play that since that one came out. Uh, I only got to like level three or four or something um, when it came out, and I was planning on starting that. Uh, but on eight o'clock, eight p.m. on New Year's Eve. I was taking the trash out from my apartment, and I slipped and fell down the stairs outside my apartment, uh, and landed awkwardly on my uh, on my left ankle. So I fucked up my left foot again. Uh, so I can't. Uh, I, I tried it out, and I can't um, can't easily press down on the left pedal. And you actually do need to use um, all three all three pedals in that game, because uh, the left pedal is a a, a dodge pedal. So there's dodge, brake, and then throttle on the pedals on that one. And you do have to use both feet to, to play it properly. So that's going to have to wait again um, for that one. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of undecided what uh, what we'll be doing for, for backlog stuff. Yeah, I need to be a bubble boy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm mostly a danger for myself, man. Oh, yeah, just I I just had the shittiest luck for for accidents in uh, in 2019. But hopefully that's that's a 2019 thing, and we can we can be injury free for uh, for 2020. Shit, it was just a, it was a freak accident. Like I was just. I had both hands full. I had a pizza box and then a full a full garbage bag, and then just stubbed my stubbed my toe going down the stairs and fell the fuck down there. Oh boy. All right. So eventually, this thing is gonna gonna start doing the miracle of life here. All right, maybe we can get it to eat this last mushroomer. Like, should I, I do have some some motorcycle protective gear that maybe I should just wear that all the time. <laughs> just get some uh, some heavy duty boots and a helmet and my uh, my ballistic jacket and just wear that all the time. And uh, the gloves that don't don't let your fingers bend backwards. 
And then maybe, just maybe, I can go a month without tearing some sort of tissue in my bones, in my body. God. Yeah, JG, uh, unfortunately, um, I, I softlocked myself unknowingly. Uh, so in the game here, you get these food pellets that you're intended to feed your seamen with. And then once you run out of these, you're, you're completely out of them. And the, the other in-game mechanism that the game gives you for feeding your seamen is a insect tank, which is off to the side. And they tell you about that later. Um, and, uh, you're supposed to feed these little caterpillar larvae to the seamen to feed them. And, um, uh, so there's these little, little caterpie looking things. And then there's also these like sack looking things, these oblong, like purple and red sack things. And I thought those were the things you're supposed to feed the seamen. Um, uh, but apparently those are... Those are things you're supposed to keep in the insect tank for it to make more larvae. And I didn't know that. So I, I took them out of the tank and I put them in Seamen's tank. And they grew into plants. And it didn't spawn any more of the food caterpie things. So, so the days would go by and my seamen would say they're very hungry, but I'd have nothing to feed them. So we just had to, to get out the shoebox and put the put attempt number two at semen into the shoebox and start over again. Because we've already established from the first playthrough that once you screw up, it, it's over. It'll still let you play because that's the kind of game that this is, but you can't, you can't do anything if you screw up enough. And in my defense, there's no, um, there's nothing in the manual about the uh, the larva, and there was nothing in the like uh, the what Seaman told you about the the bug tank that that suggested that it just said the larva, and I'm I wasn't sure which one was the larva and which one was the the eggs, and I chose wrong. <laughs> so so now we know, now we know, and hopefully that's the last time that we run into something like that. <laughs> All right, there's seven sons have been have been born here. Man, that's okay. Hello. Eek. Eek. Greetings, Seaman. Mola. How are you doing? Sure. Hello? Feefoy. I see. Okay. I think that that's all we can do for today, I guess? Because I, I'm pretty sure that they eat each other. Alright, let's get that heat up. Yep, I'm a new mother again for the second game in a row. <laughs> Just like in, in Bogey, uh, yeah, what was it called? Bogey something? Bogey Dead Six. I'm a new mother in this game as well. No, once, once you, uh, uh, once the mollusk does its thing, it's just gone forever. I'm pretty sure the only way to reset this game to its, uh, back to the original state is to delete your save. I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, so once we get the insect tank, if we hit the, the left trigger twice, it sends you to the tank. But because we didn't unlock that one yet, we're, we're still on this. All right. Would you like to save and end the session? I would. Okay, off to the next in-game day. All right, Leonard Nimoy.
All right, so just like before, we're messing with the in-game clock here. So that the game thinks we've waited a day when we clearly haven't. All right, Leonard Nimoy, what's new today? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Let's see. Last time, did you see it? The Nautilus has become prey to the parasitic mushroomers, <gasps> and thus the gill men were born. <gasps> gill stands for the gills of a fish. So a gill man is a being who breathes underwater. Gill man has learned human words. Try speaking to him if you haven't already. At the moment, the habitat contains seven gill men. Okay. So there's still They're seven. suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. So if you hit start while he's still talking, he does that. Okay. Getting some hellos. All right, so I'm gonna try not feeding them and see what happens, because I know they, they do the blood sucking thing. All right. Greetings. Hello? More, more, more. Ooh, woo. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, so they, they do do this. What? So, because they do this, I think it's probably not worth it to feed them yet and use up food that could be used for the, the later ones. All right, nature has spoken. Okay. Well done, my son. Hello, sea man. Hello. Sure. Porca. How about the, the frame rate gets pretty not great right about here, but it, it just caps out at 20. Oh, there's 19 briefly. And then gets really good over here. Clap, clap, clap. All right, we can we can tickle our sea man. <laughs> I probably could have done that with our our ones last time that were were kind of grumpy. Can we tickle our? Okay, well. <laughs> Hello, sea man. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep him in a good mood this time. I think we'll probably be much more productive if we do that. <laughs> okay. 
¿Eh? Tickle, tickle, tickle. All right. We'll tickle them, and then they will all eat each other overnight. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Would you like to save and end? I would. They're hard. All right. So this this playthrough, if if we keep track of how many in-game days, this one started on November 29th, Good evening. I guess. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Very well. The gill men have begun to suck each other's blood <gasps> using the tubes on their heads. Did you notice? At the moment, the habitat contains six gill men. Okay, so still six. They are suffering from the cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard that before. Okay. Hey, Thundernut. Good morning, Seaman. How you doing? Yeffe. Sure. Sure thing. All right. So looks like we're about to have five seamen. <laughs> All right. And another one bites the dust. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Seaman. What's new? Yaffe. Sure. Good morning, Seaman. Or Seaman? Yeppe. Seaman? Warp. 
Where am I now? Thundernet. Okay. Yeah, no, no. So apparently they're still not hungry yet, so that's that's good. Apparently I've been just wasting the Would you like to the food pellets? All right. See how quickly these days go by. All right. All right. What's new, Leonard Nimoy? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. All right, there should the be moment, five left. That contains five gill men. Okay. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. All right, are so they hungry? Over to the tank. So they're still not hungry. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I guess you don't have to feed them pellets until they're uh, they're the big boy stage. Hurrah! Hurrah! Yay! Goody! Oh, goody! Woohoo! About time! Yay! Mmm, warm. I can't breathe. Oh, yeah. All right. Mmm, fresh air. Tickle. 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 Good morning, Seaman. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Whee! Uh oh. I, I was about to talk to that one, but I guess it's not not worth doing now. <laughs> Tickle, Whee! All right, natural selection in progress over there. All right. Hello, Seaman. Yo. What is up? Okay. Stop a fart. Stop a fart. Oh, my side hurts. I'm sorry, Seaman. You want Seaman? Seaman. Yes. Hello. Oi. Okay. No, stop. <laughs> quit it, quit it, quit it. Seaman? Good morning. 
Hello, Seaman. Seaman, Seaman. Okay. All right. I think we're done for today as well. Okay. Would you? Probably gonna have to start feeding them from this in game day. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean Paul Gasset. Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains four gill men. Okay. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. All right. Well, they're still not starving, apparently. That's something, I guess. I suppose I could drop one pellet in. Probably won't hurt. Everybody gets a tickle. Good morning, Seaman. Hi. How are you today? Good. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Hello, Seaman. Yay. Seaman? What? Hello. All right. Hello, Seaman. Are you having a good one? Not much. Okay. Good evening, Seaman. Get off. What? Oh. All right. We're down to three now.
All right. And then there were three. Would you like to see? I would, Leonard Nimoy. Okay. So we might get full grown. Full grown Gilman next in game day. I'm guessing. For Christmas is Grandma's sweet elixir soup. Sure. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. I am. At the moment, the habitat contains three gill men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the... <clears throat> sure. Woohoo! Goody. Oh, goody. About time. Woohoo! Yay! Hurrah! Goody. Oh, good. Hurrah! Yay! I'm warm again. Oh, good. This is... I can't breathe. This is Chrono Trigger, isn't it? Maybe it's Zelda. in the position <laughs> so all the ones that I tickle get immediately murdered by their brothers right after I tickle them stop a fire please don't tickle me okay <laughs> quit it quit it quit it all right we're down to two All right, now we can feed them. <laughs> They've determined who's going to survive. Yum. Hello, Seaman. How are, yes. how are you today? Warm enough for you? Huh? Oh, what's it? What's it saving? Uh. I'm sorry, Seaman. Hi. 
How are you doing otherwise? All right, good talk, man. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. So we fed him. They murdered a brother. Would you like to save and end this productive in game day? And we're down to two. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. Sure. Very well. The number of gill men has decreased due to natural selection. Uh-huh. It seems cruel, but survival of the fittest is an integral part of their lives. At the moment, the habitat contains two gill men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Allow me to give you the highlights for today. Oh? I'm not sure, but it seems that Seaman wants a name. Pay close attention to what he says. So let us head over to the tank. See, the, I, I think I didn't get that prompt last time because I was mean to him. That must be why, because I was picking up out of the picking them up out of the tank all the time, and we're doing nothing but tickling and being nice this time. Ah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. I can breathe. I can breathe. My fins are frozen. Do something. Ooh, all right. It's too cold. It's about time. And we're only going to feed them when they ask for it. That's the other thing I'm going to be sure to do. I'm finally starting to defrost. Okay. Turned out the lights. All right. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> uh, I can't go over to the, the other lab just yet. So if I do left trigger to go to the inventory and then left trigger again, it just brings me back here. So I can't start growing larva until I... um until Seaman tells me about it, apparently. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Good evening, Seaman. Hello. I will give you a name. What? How are you today? Yes, now go to your room. Yes. It'll cost you a buck. Okay. I have to tell you, your caregiving has left something to be desired. Please try to pay closer attention. I'm sorry. You should be. Okay. Hello, Seaman. man 
How goes it? <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> quit it. Quit it. It hurts. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I was promised peeing. What the hell? Come on, game. All right. Uh, maybe they do need to be fed. And they're just not saying anything. No, thanks. I'm not hungry now. Oh, okay. Hello, Seaman. What? I'm sorry. Good, Seaman. How are you? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> See, man? Oh, knock it off. <laughs> Hello, Seaman. man How's it going? You're getting pretty big, Seaman. man Okay, good talk, Z man. I don't know if I should wait around on the screen until they they say, "Hey, I want to talk," because they do do that. Maybe I can move this rock over here. that rock over there and then shake this rock a little bit how's it going seaman what good night seaman good night it's seaman Man, these RC men are kind of assholes. Would you like to save and end the session? Sure. All right. Maybe next time they'll tell us about the the bug thing. Leonard Nimoy. Lay it on me. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. At the moment, the habitat contains two Gilmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Allow me to give you the highlights for today. Would you like to give Seaman a name? I would. Call one of the Gilmen and try saying, I will give you a name. So let us head over to the tank. Oh. That, I, I, I tried that already. They were not amused. Oh man, uh, the Star Wars and Two freezing. remix. Hmm. 
Let's crank this on. Oh, this is the, uh... thought I was a frozen seaman for sure. This is the venerable forest. The, uh... The forest area by the, the opening village. they want to eat but you gonna you gonna eat maybe okay there we go all right oh good food So full. Okay. Good evening, Seaman. Good evening. Right. Hi. Hello. How are you today? You know, I could really eat. I, oh, okay. I want more food. Hello, Seaman. What do you want? Good evening. Hey, thanks for the food. Okay. Apparently they're both still angry. Good evening. Sure. Hi. Sure. I'm not hungry anymore. Good evening. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> quit it. Quit it. It hurts. <laughs> eh? Maybe that'll get him into a, a better mood. <laughs> Hello, Seaman. What? I will give you a name. Okay, I'm going to let you give me a name. Hey! When you've decided what you want to call me, say, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, then. Here's how to do it. You're going to say my new name three times. Each time I say now, say the name once. Got it? Now. Peepo. One more time. Peepo. One more time. Peepo. Okay, I'll remember that. Next time you want to call me, call me using that name. And don't forget the name you gave me. Because if you do, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh-oh. Well, I think that pretty much covers it. 
later. It's rather difficult making out what's on the other side of this glass, so let me inquire. Are you a male or a female? Male. Male. You're a male of this species, eh? Yes. Well, I was hoping to meet a lady, but I guess I'm not in a position to be too choosy, am I? <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> Peepo. How you doing, Peepo? Good evening, Peepo. Good evening. Oh, that one's Zone's Gold. Okay. So that. <laughs> this is our boy now. Good evening. Evening. Good night, Peepo. Good night. All right. So I was led to believe I would be cared for by a fairly young, responsible human being. So far, this has proven to be true, but I am wondering about your age now. Tell me, are you in your, um, 20s? No. Oh. Hmm. Well, then perhaps you are a teenager. Is this correct? No. No. All right, I'm tired of guessing. How old are you then? 34. You're 34 years old? Yes. Yes, a 30-something. All right. The body doesn't feel as good the next day after a night of revelry. You can't stay up as late. It's tough growing old, huh? Sure is, Seaman. I mean, Peepo. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Good night, Peepo. You're welcome. So, what month is your birthday in? Here is this again. March. You were born in March? Yes. Yes. That's a pretty windy month for a birthday. I hope you get a lot of sweaters. Thank you, Sea Man. Hello. So, what day is your birthday on? Three. The third? Yes. I'll try to remember that, but there won't be any quiz, right? Yep, Seaman needs your social security, the credit card number, and the numbers on the back. Thank you, Seaman. Peepo, how you doing? No, I don't think so. I see. <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, good one. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all we can do today. Uh, but still, that's that's a lot of progress. We're finally making progress. Now, hopefully, he tells us about the the insect cage next time. All right, we gotta kiss, kiss Peepo goodnight. Good night, Peepo. What? Good night, Peepo. Good night. Peepo. No, I don't think so. Okay. I've been thinking about this, and if my calculations are correct, you must be a Pisces. Just like me. You know, Pisces often make sacrifices for the people they care about. This is sweet. 
I can just tell you're going to take great care of me. Yeah. What's up? Definitely. It's not like I've killed 14 of your brothers already. <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> Good night, Peepo. I think I can. I think I can. Is, is he pooping at me again? Yep. All right. So we got poop again. We bothered Seaman enough. Oh man. like to save and end. So Peepo is uh is Neo from the Matrix? Would you like to? All right. this time we learn about the the insect cage and then I don't screw it up it's also critical I guess all right Leonard Nimoy status update star date good evening today welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset there is a definite pattern to your visits it appears you are a punctual person let's see you have given a name to one of the gill men. His coloration has changed, so you should be able to locate him easily. Please, take good care of him. And only him, not the other one. Oh, yes. They have started to produce droppings. The tubes on their heads serve many purposes. At the moment, the habitat contains two gill men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. It's about time. Yay! Okay. So about 17.8 is where you need to let go of the heater button for optimal Optimal heating. You know, I could really eat. Yes. All right, eat up, boys. Oh, good food. Stuffed. Hello, Seaman. What's up? Good evening. 
Hey, look who's here. It's it's the tickle man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Hello, Peepo. Hi, Fuzzy. How did you know? Hello. What's up? How was your day, Peepo? So tell me about the insect enclosure. No? I'm fine. That was interesting. We'll speak again soon. Ah. I see. I could use a snack. Oh. Constantly hungry. Huh? Just like cats. Except these are weird fish things. What do you want? sure why I bother feeding that one, but sure. Hello, Peepo. Anything new? Mmm, tasty. I see. Adieu. You're welcome. Nothing. Sorry. How about some plot advancement? Yes? Maybe? No, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, knock it off. <laughs> sure. Yes. What's up? Hey, what's up? I asked you first. Well, don't you fret. Seaman is your friend. That's right. Well, you know I try. Me too. Nothing, thanks. What? Good talk. You know what really chaps my hide? It's how the English language is set up so that you never get a straight answer. For example, you might say, this is one of the tallest buildings in America. But what does that mean, one of the tallest buildings? There is only one tallest building, correct? This is very confusing to me. I agree. Big mood. I'm not ignoring you, I'm relaxing. <laughs> sure. Buh bye. Goodbye. All right. Hello. How you doing, other seaman? 
See, man? All right, good talk. All right, I guess that, sure. All right, other C-Man knows that his, his days are numbered, I guess. Okay, well, hopefully the other one will, will tell me about the, to save and end the, session? the other thing at some point soonish. Seaman 2 is really weird. It's like, it's a caveman or something on an island, I want to say. Or like a, a, an, an ape walking on two, two, uh, two legs, I guess. And it's Japanese only. And that's about all I know of it. On PS2. But apparently it requires extensive Japanese knowledge to uh, to do anything in it, which is why most people, I guess, out west probably haven't uh, haven't seen much of it. Yeah, there's a there's a sequel to this game. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean Paul Gasset. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. Sure. So not much new going on, apparently. <laughs> a remake of Seaman 2? Oh, man. Yeah, this type of game would work great on mobile, and it's probably easier to do what it does nowadays with all the the voice recognition libraries that are out there. You don't have to start from scratch. Like, shit, you could probably make an indie Seaman game with the... It's about time. With voice recognition. You don't need the full force of Sega oh, goody. making bad decisions about game design. <laughs> I could use a snack. And production costs. Alright. Is it chow time yet? Oh, yummy baity goodness. Drop in two, apparently. Oh. I'm full. Hey, thanks. Okay. What's new, Peepo? Put this tongue in that mouth. Dream on. I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> oh, knock it off. <laughs> What's up today, Peepo? Right, I know. Anything new? Hello. Hi, Fuzzy. Insect tank? Jean-Paul Gasset. 
Jean-Paul Gasset. Habitat? Word. Words. Words, words, words. Hello. Do you have any memories? Anything new? Z-Man? What? Peepo? It's weird. It, it it's like we make a, a lot of progress stop here. Stop it. And then the game just kind of I'm going to pee if you don't stop. <laughs> walls you off again. Like like I need to I need Seaman to remember about the other lab. Otherwise we can't feed him starting pretty soon. Hey Seaman. What's up? Have you remembered anything? Where is more food? Where is food? Hello? More food. Sure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. I think we, we give this a minute or something for for other seaman to Hello? Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you today, Seaman? It hurts. <laughs> Good evening. Yes. How are you? Do you like being tickled? Ticklish? Hello. Hello. Dreamcast? What? I agree. Dreamcast is kind of not great, right? Talk to the fin. Yeah. Talk to the fin. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Seaman. What? Alright, is the other one gonna... Good evening. Hello? What's up? Have you remembered anything? Hello? Anything new? What's up? Tickling. Shut up. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> quit it. Quit it. It hurts. <laughs> okay. So we we got one more day of food left, and then that's it. Uh. Good evening. 
Peepo? Peepo? I'm Whoa. okay. Me too, Peepo. How are you otherwise? Anything else new? Remember? Till next time. Goodbye, Peepo. Okay. Well, I... Hey. Hey. Oh. I've got something to say. Hello. I just remembered something. Ah ha ha. Some of my memories are coming back. All right. Man. This game really likes to wait until I'm about to leave. man named Jean-Paul Gasset who was trying to raise me. And he made this cage to hold insects. And there were a lot of really tasty looking insects in it. Is it still there? Can you take a look? Okay, so after a while, some moth larvae will start growing in there. When that happens, use the L trigger to switch screens and grab a larva and drop it in here. Can you do that for me? Okay, so the, the larva, not those. So these things here, those need to stay. We're, we're not even going to touch those. These are the things that the, the larvae come from. And they turn into these little caterpie things. That will use those to feed the seamen. So these things, we made the the grave mistake of picking those up and putting them in the seamen tank. And that, uh, that meant we had to start completely over. Oh, God. Hey, Hidden. Good evening. All right. How do you get more eggs to make larva? Fuck if I know. The manual doesn't say. <laughs> and we have a, a, a talking fish. So far knows more about this than I do. But we can, uh, we can spray though. And I, I, I think getting the spray up to a hundred is what we want it to do. Probably. Leonard Nimoy seemed pleased last time when I, I sprayed this thing, so. Let's spray it up to like 75, because maybe there's like a sweet spot for for spraying, perhaps. Sure, that, that seems fine. Good night, Seaman. I love you, Seaman. Wait, you're Peepo. Time for a sea dump. Oh. A sea dump? Oh my god. Alright, there's the sea dump. Good night, Peepo. No, I don't think so. I, uh... Oh, 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 oh. All right. Now we can we can leave him for the night. Maybe getting the heater over 19 is what uh what causes further interactions. Would hmm. you like to save and end the session? I would. All right. What's new today, Leonard Nimoy? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. 
It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. Let's see. Last time, you have obtained the insect cage. This will be helpful in raising more food for Seaman. Okay. Keep your eye on it. Something will happen within shortly. Oh, the spray. The insect cage is equipped with a spray to keep the moisture level up. Please, don't forget to use it. At the moment, the habitat contains two gill men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Allow me to divulge today's highlights. Oh? Gilman has been growing and would love some variety in his meals. Try giving him some larva from the other tank. I'm sure he'll be pleased. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. So we'll get this up to Yay. 19. It's about time. It's about time. Someone over here wants to eat. Okay. I think I need some. All right, so we should have larva over here. Oh, we don't. And also those two things disappeared. Uh, eh. Oh, they, they sprouted into, into plants. Interesting. Okay, so maybe, maybe that means that um, if we leave the larva in here, they'll eat the plants and then they'll lay more eggs. Maybe. And maybe the colors of them are the are male and female. Maybe I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. And maybe I should have got this to a hundred. Perhaps it was a mistake not making this a hundred. But now I know. Okay. Man, I, I hope I didn't screw this up by not making that 100. Boy, would that be embarrassing. All right. Hello? Hello. Hello, Night Owl. Oh, good food. Oh, you let people get that. Not you. Uh, oh, I gotta wait until they, they actually eat it. Oh, they hatched. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we got two green... We got two watermelon ones. All four are watermelon ones. What the hell? <laughs> uh, I I never noticed that apparently. I uh. Wait. Sure. I'm thinking about some food. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, Super Mario RPG. Oh no, that's wrong tank. Oh good, food. stuffed all right yeah super mario rpg is a great uh great speed game from the looks of things never beaten that game casually i think the farthest i ever got casually was the uh was volcano and that's um i i actually have the cartridge of it i bought the cartridge for it like a month before sd to snes got support for it <laughs> So I have that, I have Star Fox, and Yoshi's Island. I bought those three carts for, for playthroughs on console, and then of course SD to SNES supports it. Jesus. Ugh. Hello, people. How goes it today? What do you want? Uh, it's saving, okay. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know if the regular SD to SNES is changing the name, but the one made by by Crix is the the guy in Ukraine, because the um, original SD to SNES wasn't made by Crix; it was made by uh, Ikari, I think is his name. And also, the for the SD to SNES, if you uh, if you have good enough like soldering skills, you can actually make your own card of that. Just order the PCB from China, and order the components, and then. And then just piece it together. I actually considered doing that at one point because it is cheaper than uh, than getting it from uh, a distributor. But I already have a cart, so I don't have a huge reason to do so. Good evening, people. Good evening. Evening. <laughs> grew to learn how to solder eh kind of for for surface mount the the sd to snes is probably a little too difficult for learning um <laughs> don't make me laugh but there are some good some good more beginner stuff for uh for soldering that's for snes like the the digital audio mod board you can make that yourself and the um uh, the RGB boards, those you can also make yourself. And those are a lot cheaper to do and a, a lot harder to mess up. <laughs> Alright, anything new? Hello. Talk to me, people. What's up? Hey, what's up? How do you feel about Super Nintendo flashcards? Same. What about... Sir, I like the sound of that. Sure. Hello. How are you? Oh, it's saving something. Okay. Is it because of something? Wait, that's that's growing a lot. Okay. Maybe it's because the the eggs disappeared. Okay. Sure. Anything else new, Seaman? Seaman? Peepo? Hello? 
What is your favorite Dreamcast game, people? Sega? Any other wisdom to impart on me? Sure. Want me to yeah. move the rocks? No? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. oh, knock it off. <laughs> Good night, people. It's a secret. What? What secret? Take a guess. Tell me a secret. It's saving again. What? Why? <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> Good evening, Seaman. How are you? Why? Why not? Sure. Why are you what? still? Why are you still in this tank? Okay. Nice one. Well done. Well, don't you fret. Sea Man is your friend. That's right. Are we done for Tell me? What do you do for a living? I play video games on the internet. You're in the gaming industry? Sure. Really? I bet I've seen you at one of the industry parties. Yes. Yes. Well, it got that closer this time. I'm not a sex worker this time. <laughs> nice one. Well, I think that pretty much covers it. Later. Good night, people. Good night. All right. I think that's it for the, uh, the in-game day then. Okay. Look at all this progress we're making. And I, I'm pretty sure having the heater up to, to 19 is probably what's helping. Okay. Let's make sure that this is hydrated. So we still got, we got four of these things. We're going to have to start feeding these to, uh, to the seamen starting tomorrow. Would you like to save and end the session? All right. already 130 <laughs> okay I guess it didn't help that we had to Good evening. start over again welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset greetings and welcome back you're doing a good job let's see last time the eggs in the insect cage have hatched into larvae it is important to raise them carefully. If you put too many larvae into the tank, you may find yourself running out of food for Seaman later. Yep. But if you manage the larvae well, 
you should have no problem keeping Seaman well fed. So he didn't mention that last At time moment, until I had already wasted all of them. Gilman. Uh, they shit. are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. Let's do it. He's got actual timely advice this time. So I'm guessing we need at least two. Uh, at least two larvae. Oh, goody. In the insect enclosure at all times. Man, they, they're getting really big. Like, they're, ge they're getting noticeably bigger now. Hey, turn up the bubbles. I can breathe. Okay. Yeah, oh, there's there's still only four here. Is this a Commodore sixty four remix? Someone over here wants to eat. All right. All right, that one's for Peepo, not for you, other Drop Seaman. Me. Now, what holy are you crap. Doing? Hey, do I grab you? Put me down, air sucker. All right, go get some food, Peepo. Hey, thanks. Okay. Hey, listen up. Yes. That was great. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Okay. I guess one of them will feed both. I'll never eat again. Hello? Hello. Hello. Anything new? Stop. <laughs> okay. What's up, Peepo? What's the matter? Let's talk. I was wondering, are you married? No. You're unmarried? Yes. Really? Yeah, hey, that's okay. Don't listen to people who say you need to get married. Yeah. It's an antiquated notion, really. Okay. More progress. Let's talk. Blah, blah, blah. Happy? <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> Let's talk some more. Tell me something. 
Do you like girls? Yes. Then do you have a girlfriend? No. You're single? Yes. But you still date people, right? Yes. Well, that's a relief. I was starting to think you were some kind of recluse. <laughs> sure. Bye. Oh, man. Seaman getting fucking real. Seaman? <laughs> what do you want? Any more call outs today? Are we going through the whole DSM 4 in this game? See, man? What's up? Against my better judgment, let's talk. Hey, Peepo. What? Anything new? So you're single. Do you live alone? Yes. So you live alone then? Yes. You do? It's hard to see, but you're probably sitting there in your underwear right now. Hey, not that there's anything wrong with that. If you're comfortable, I'm comfortable. Well, I have clothes on on, on top of the underwear, but yeah, you're right. Then go away. Okay. Good night, Seaman. It's Seaman, punk. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> sure. What's up? Anything else tonight, Seaman? Are you going to pry further into my personal life, Seaman? You know, the only one keeping you alive is me, Peepo. What's up? <laughs> Good night, Peepo. Good night. Oh, more saving. More saving. Uh, is that anything new? Good night. Yes. Good night, Peepo. Many things. I see. And then it's saving again. Sure. All right. Anything new over here? Ah, we got the. Uh... Okay, so that one's a cocoon now. All right. So there's two left and one's a cocoon now. Can we pick up the cocoons? Interesting. All right. Well, we'll find out next time, I suppose. And yeah, it appears having the heater over 19 is what uh, gets them into a talkative mood. Anything else? Yes. Anything else? Now saving. Sure. Hello. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Now we're good for the night. Would you like to? St I would, Leonard Nimoy. I would. All right. 
So now we're kind of in uncharted territory here. Man. <laughs> I've been holding this controller for three and a half hours now, and I can feel it right about there on my... Underneath the knuckle. I really hate the Dreamcast controller <laughs> so much. Oh, man. I should really just design my own controller at some point if I'm going to keep playing Dreamcast games. Just 3D print my own. Oh, man. <sighs> All right, Leonard Nimoy. What's up today? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Let's see. Last time... At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. Did it just skip they are suffering a... from the cold. Please huh. use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Sure. Well, I already have the controller hooked up to my uh, my input monitor here. So I could just theoretically use a, a PC controller and send the signals back through the Teensy to the Dreamcast. But, eh. I think at that point, I'd much rather just modify an existing controller PCB. Yeah, there's there's a lot of um, a lot of Dreamcast accessories are are Just kind of rare, time. which is a little weird. To freeze together. Can't you give me a little more oxygen? Like the uh, the light gun. The light gun is super rare, apparently. I can feel the oxygen. Mm. Same for the Saturn. Though that one makes slightly more sense because there's like two games that use the light gun on Saturn. Okay. So what we got here? So we still have the larva. And then... Okay. Alright. Are they hungry? What's up? What? Hey! What's up? Hello, Night Owl. So, you getting all your holiday shopping done? Yes. Sure. Anything else new? Apparently they're not hungry. Is it chow time okay. yet? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so luckily one of these will feed both of them. Oh, yummy baity goodness. Oh, no. Okay. Mm -mm, good. That was tasty. They aren't doing the, the wiggle thing anymore. For compliments to the chef. <laughs> what? Oh, knock it off. <laughs> Good evening, Peepo. Good evening. Anything new? You're welcome. I see. What's up? Still a fish, huh? So listen, do you have any kids? 
No. So you don't have any kids right now. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. I see. No kids. Are you thinking of having some in the future? Yes. That's nice. I believe that it's the purpose of life to propagate. Children could bring you great joy if you don't wring their necks first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> Anything else new? Hello? Hello? What's up? Just, just more real talk. What's up with you, Peepo? I wonder what the game's doing when it, it just hitches for a second. Because it does it after I say something a lot of times. Real talk with Peepo? What? How you doing? What's up? Sure? Eh? What's up? Oh, it's saving. Okay. So the VMU says saving on it, and it doesn't show any of the, the question mark icons. Anything new with you? Peepo. Well, I can't babysit you all the time, you know. I see. Sure. Oh, now it's saving again. Sure. Hello? Tell me about yourself. Now you get it. I see. Bye. Goodbye. Buh bye. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Good afternoon. No, it's not. You're right. Sure. This one doesn't even want to talk. <laughs> Alright. Uh... So weird that it just constantly saves for no reason. Okay, well... Still not sure what, what's up with this thing. Oh shit, that's probably why. <laughs> I completely forgot about the spray. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, what? What's going on here? Oh, and then this one... What's going on here now? They were just waiting for the, the spray, apparently. Okay, well, we can't... All right, the miracle of life. All this to be eaten by a seaman. Oh my 
god, this thing. Uh-oh. Kill me. Kill me. Can we... Oh, okay, it's back when it's growing. Okay. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly call. All right, the wings are growing in. Is that the other one falling? Oh. We're trying to fall. All right. I think that's the sound of pooping in the seaman area. <laughs> World's slowest moth. Uh, uh, okay. All right, the world's slowest moth has taken off. Okay. Oh, God. All right, can we pick it up? We can pick it up. Okay. Can we tickle the moth? We cannot tickle the mouth, apparently. Or the moth is not ticklish. All right. Sure. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> I don't think Seamoth will fare well in the, the, the other tank here. 
We should probably not. What's up? Good morning, Peepo. Hello? Peepo. All right. Good night, Peepo. Peepo really doesn't want to talk, apparently. Okay. Not even getting anything on the VMEO. All Would right. Would you like to save and end the session? Sure. All right. So hopefully we'll we'll have some more moth eggs next time, maybe. Because if not, then shit, we're back to square one again. <laughs> Uh, and hopefully they lay more than one larva. Yeah, they can survive, um, God, I think three or four days without being fed, but they, they do get very mad if that happens. And you lose, like, a day of progress. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. Let's see. Last time, did you see the moth emerge from the cocoon? It is quite amazing. If you missed it, watch your next pupa carefully. Assuming there's going to be more pupa. At the moment, the habitat contains two gill men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the... Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, Leonard Nimoy. All right. Sweet oxygen. Sweet, precious air. I'm cold. It's about time. It's about time. Oh, goody. All right, hopefully there's Pipa over in the moth enclosure. Hello? Is anyone out there? Hello? Hello. What's up? Peepo? Hello, Peepo. How are you? Talk to me? Hi. Okay, I got an exclamation mark from that. Um... No. You know I could really eat. Okay. I, I'm not sure we have anything to eat. Okay, we got two more two more of those, but those are not pupa. I, th I think our seamen are going to have to Possibly wait another day. Yeah, we got... Alright, the miracle of life again.
Uh. So I, I, I think I'll leave these in here again just to grow some more plants. But I guess those later on, we're probably going to have to start putting those in the, um, in the cement tank. And I'm assuming feeding those to the seaman is not gonna not gonna do anything. I guess we're gonna have to just wait another day. Uh... <laughs> no, we're gonna watch it. We're gonna zoom in on it. We're gonna slow mo it. I'm thinking about some food, eh? Well. Since we don't have any food, there's not much we could do today. <laughs> Would you like to save and end the session? Alright. Just gonna have to go hungry for a day, see man. Cause, Cause we got nothing again. Alright. <sighs> I think this is Sonic 2, I want to say. It's either Sonic 2 or like the, the last level of Sonic 1, maybe? The Death Egg? Can't remember. Good evening. It's been so long. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Ah, Sky Zone, yeah. At the moment, the habitat contains two gill men. They are starving. Feed them at once or they will die. Well, so let us head over to the tank. Hmm. Don't have any food, Leonard Nimoy. David Attenborough, yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice, but he probably cost a lot more than Leonard Nimoy did back in back then. It's just like How's my son? Well, things things didn't go so great right around there. We had to uh, start over again twice. Oh, are you listening? And unless no, turn it on again. And unless what my God. now I need food. My insect larva uh produce some babies. We are out of food. Yay! So my, my fish son is currently very hungry. And I am unable to provide at the moment. I'm warmer now, thanks. Hey, food. I'm hungry. Food. Give me food. Uh. Why? Why is this not the? Uh... Do you seriously have to watch it? The whole time. Does this thing not hatch unless you watch it hatch? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Sure. What? No, I did spray it. It was it was still in the blue too when I uh when I came back. Huh. 
Ach. Because you can see how quickly the the hydration meter goes down. I wonder if you have to uh, to pick up these things and then just drop them in place for them to to grow. faster. Ah, <sighs> uh, see, man. What a game. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure those those things there are uh, are these these things. That they just, they fall off, and then they just grow another one. Oh, and it's just hanging out in midair. Okay. Alright, moths, get to it. Get busy. Make some larva. Yeah, you. Hello? Hey. Okay. So that one is just gonna... Okay, so there's two larvae there. And those will hatch by next time. Alright, it's, it's laying more, it looks like. I wonder if it just continually lays them or if it dies off after a day. Okay. All right. Are you going to make some larva? No, nope, of course not. Oh, shit. They're already hatching. Oh, no. It looked like it was. It, it would be very unfortunate if if two moths only produce two eggs because that means we're we're just kind of stuck with what we got right now yeah the sound of those is, is really weird like it doesn't sound fitting with the game but it's not like the rest of the game has that many sound effects. Well, I guess I'm waiting to see if this one does anything. Yeah, I guess not. All right. Well, we just got to hope that that our boy survives another day because... Would you like to save and end the save? So let me... Give me food. <laughs> Are you going to starve me to death? <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. All right, maybe. Hey. All right. Would you like to see? All right. Hopefully they last. Last another day. Okay. 
All right, food is on the way, buddy. Hopefully they survived. Or maybe maybe Peepo just ate the other one. That would also be fine if that happened. One less mouth to feed. <laughs> All right. Hopefully Leonard Nimoy doesn't have bad news for us here. But man, imagine doing this only playing it for three minutes a day. Good evening. Like, good lord. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. I tried to do that and... Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. Okay. Not dead yet. Very well. A moth laid its eggs. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They appear to be very hungry. So let us head over to the tank. Okay. Very hungry, but not dead. Importantly. Okay. Will they kill the other as adults? I have no idea. <laughs> I have actually no idea. This is all new to me. I bet if I were a dog, you'd feed me. <laughs> Probably. All right. So hopefully those eggs turned into caterpies, and we can toss them in the tank. Hey, Mika. Did Leonard Nimoy know? Probably. But Sega's check cleared just as good as anybody else's did, I guess, back in the day. Alright, we have... What the fuck is... Uh... Okay, there we go. We got a... So I'm not sure if the spider hatched from that egg. Or is there... I guess it did. What in the hell is... <laughs> uh... Can we pick it up? Okay. I, uh... Um... And then these... These aren't straight up and down anymore. So I'm not sure what the hell's going on with those. Like, I want those to to grow. Okay, you... You are going to be food, though. Alright. I'm not sure what's up with the spider. <laughs> Alright, boys. Time to eat. Hey, thanks for the food. Oh, good. Food. Alright, good. The boys have been fed. Mmm, I couldn't eat another bite. Okay. Hey, you. Yes. Evening. Good evening. How are you? Wow, you're a freak. I gotta be nice to see, man. I'm not gonna undo any progress. Good evening, people. Good evening. Hi there. How are you? A freak. I'm sorry. 
Up oh, now saving. Okay. What's up? Nothing. Same. I'm fine. Sure. What? Anything new? Amazing. Well, yes, I guess so. I see. Okay, it looks like it, it can't take voice inputs during a now saving. Sure. Be seeing you. So tell me, oh. how is your father's health? Good. He's okay then? Yes. Good. I'm glad to hear he's doing well. Okay. More prying into the personal life, huh, C man? Hello. Sure. I will be on my way now. They're just doing what Google and Facebook do nowadays, except this was in 2000. Anything else new? Put this tongue in that mouth. Dream on. Yeah. Is your father still working? Yes. He's still slaving away, is he? Yes. Well, I hope you appreciate his hard work and perseverance. I also hope for his sake, he gets a chance to retire and spend time with his thoughts. It's very important to reflect, you see. Is that hoe over there? Exactly. Anything else new? What's up? See, man, are you an information broker? I'd like to opt out, see, man. The EU will hear of this. See, man, tell me about data protection laws. None of it, of course, naturally. What else is new, Seaman? man Yes. Hello. Hello. Peepo? So, what month is your dad's birthday in? February? Oh, such stinging words. Oh, how will I recover? Sure. Sir, I like the sound of that. Let me start over. I said... So, what month is your dad's birthday in? March. March. He was born in March? Yes. Wait a minute. You and your dad were born in the same month? Sure. Maybe you're meant to follow in his footsteps. For convenience's sake, sure. Because obviously you don't understand February. I agree. Sorry, I'm busy. Busy being tickled. <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> Anything else new, Seaman? Amazing. Well, yes, I guess so. I see. I'm very sorry to hear that. What? So, what day is your dad's birthday? Three. The third? Yes. No kidding. You and your dad have the same birthday? It's uncanny. Now that's a coincidence. Wow. Perhaps deep down, you and your dad are more alike than you realize. Your father's birthday is important, you know. But if you ask me, the most important thing is that your dad knows how much he means to you. Unless you think he's a huge pain in the neck. I'd probably keep that to myself if I were you. See, man, stop guilt tripping me. What's up? This is getting a little too real right now. Talk to the Finn.
<laughs> Anything else new, Sea Man? What do you want? What's up? Anything new? What? Sure. I see. Goodbye. Good night, Seaman. Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Any more prying into my life, Seaman? No? We're done with that for today, I guess. All right. Hey, I'm trying to sleep in here. All right, let's see if there's anything new in Moth Town. Uh, uh oh, where'd Spider go? Okay, we got two new eggs. That's promising. Just hopefully one doesn't turn into a spider. Like, <laughs> I'm still not sure what the hell this thing's about, but. Sure, there's a spider now. Maybe it'll eat the... Eat what, one of the dead moths, maybe? Huh. Okay. Sure. Would you like to save and end the session? I would. All right. All right, so at this, at this point, it's been half a month. So we started this this set of seamen on the 28th. And God, it, it still doesn't seem like we've done a whole lot of progress. <laughs> and this is like daily seamen tending. Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains two gillmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Okay. So let us head over to the tank. All right. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. All right. This might be ugly. You may want to look away. I'm hungry. Mm, it pooped above the water this time. Okay, what do we got here? All right, we got two 
two of those. So if I leave one alive, it can uh, probably turn into a uh, another moth, and then we can. Ah, we got a spider web now. Okay. I'm not. That, that must be some mechanism to to get rid of the moths. Maybe I don't know why you'd want to do that, but sure. Oh, yummy, baity goodness. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it might be something that we need to get rid of at Yum some point, or... Food. I don't know. I couldn't eat another bite. That was damned yummy. Okay. Hello? Are you listening? Yes. Don't you ever go out on the weekend? Wow, the middle of December. Has it snowed yet? I can't see out of my tank. It doesn't snow here. Sure. All right, good talk. <laughs> Good evening, people. Evening. Anything new? I got the exclamation mark there. Uh, what's up? Hello, Peepo. Hi. Tell me about the spider. See ya. Sure. Seaman. Seaman Jones. You have a last name? Yes. Uh... What's up? Sure. <laughs> okay, tell me about Japan. Tell me about Japan. Okay. Put this tongue in that mouth, dream on. Yeah. Yes. It'll cost you a buck. Okay. Sure. Hello. Anything new? Is your mother in good health? Yes. She's doing well? Yes. Yes. That's certainly good to hear. Okay. It's just going through all the family questions, I guess. Anything else new? More questions, Peepo? Well, you know, I try. Any more prying today, Peepo? What? You heard me. Oh, really? Uh-oh. Seaman to the rescue. So tell me, does your mother work? Yes. She has a job, is that right? Yes. Well, I hope you appreciate her hard work and perseverance. In the olden days, way before civilization, women and men took turns hunting and gathering. This has changed over time, 
but it seems equality between the sexes is becoming quite fashionable these days. Perhaps in some odd fashion, human beings are going back to their roots. So Seaman's got the, the prehistoric lore, apparently. Seaman, are you an alien? Yes. Uh... What? Seaman, are you an alien? What do you want? Okay. Sure. You don't know? I do. No, I don't need anything. Uh. Wow. You're a freak. A Lamau. Sure. Anything else? Question marks. Yes. Oh, really? What do you want? Uh. Hello? Tell me about the rocks. The rocks down there. <laughs> Good night, Seaman. Amazing. Well, yes, I guess so. Good night, what Peepo. What month was your mother born? March. She was born in March? Yes. Wait a minute. Your mother and father were born in the same month? Sounds like perhaps they were meant for each other. Weird coincidence. Uncanny. You're not so bad yourself. I know. How about you, Seaman? When were you born, Seaman? Take a guess. What day is your mother's birthday on? Three. The third? Yes. Of course. It's all becoming clear. I think mothers are great. I hope you know how lucky you are to have a mom. You wouldn't want to end up like me, forced to depend on complete strangers for food and attention. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> See, man, your mother was that mollusk thing. See, man? Hello? Real talk. Okay, let's talk about... No, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Peepo. What's up? Okay. That's probably the game's cue for we're out of things to talk about for today. Yeah, see, man, already asked for my social security and my credit card number and the numbers on the back. Weird. Uh, okay, anything doing here? All right, so we got two more of those on the way. We still got two seaman moths. We have the spider that's up to no good, I guess, over here. Sure. All right. Would you like to save and end the session? I would. Uh, so far, the moths haven't talked. Nor has the spider or the, the little caterpies. It's only been the semen. And the other uh, moths haven't spoken either. And Leonard Nemo, of course. Can't forget Leonard.
Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. At the moment, the habitat contains two gill men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Allow me to divulge today's highlights. Oh? If Professor Gasset's data is accurate, we can expect a change in the gill man's body very shortly. Oh, shit. So let us head over to the tank. All right. Progress. It's probably going to grow arms and legs, I'm guessing. Or just a, a full-ass human head. Either that or it's going to eat the other one. It's about time. <laughs> Steps. Breath. Everything is up. Hey, listen up. What's up? Hi there. Hey, did you know that on this date in 1773, the Boston Tea Party occurred? I say we brew some Earl Grey and get crazy. Good morning. Perhaps you should hit a mall today. I have a feeling you still need to get some stocking stuffers for people. Turned on the lights. Hello, seamen. Let's be sure and get my name right, skin puppet. I'm sorry, Peepo. I'm sorry. You certainly are. What's up, Peepo? Nothing. I have another question for you. And it's a serious one, so no fooling around. Do you like yourself? Yes. You do like yourself? Yes. I'll bet you like yourself. In fact, I'd guess you like yourself at least twice a day. But seriously, there's nothing wrong with liking yourself. I like you too. <laughs> oh, thanks, Peepo. Talk to the Finn. Aw, oh, shucks. Well, you know, I try. So, what's the one thing you like most about yourself? Uh... Let's try that again. What do you like most about yourself? And enunciate this time. My eyes? Your private part? Yes. Yes. Your parents taught you about how boys and girls have 
different sex organs, right? Now let's try it again, smartass. What? What do you like best about yourself? What does that have to do with a... <laughs> uh... Personality. You think you've got a good personality? Yeah! Yes. Well, that's good. To me, that's the most important thing about a person. Sure. I knew C-Man would take that answer. Okay. All right. Where's this transformation, C-Man? <laughs> it takes it takes a lot to tickle C-Man. Knock it off. Later in the game. Anything new, Peepo? Peepo. No thanks. What's up? Just having a lovely Actually, there, swim. There's something right there. It's really hard to see, but it looks like there's there's something right there. It's like a little tendril. That's got to be a back leg coming in. Does this one have it too? Yeah, that one's got it too. Interesting. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Uh, okay. So those still haven't hatched yet. Well, they haven't said that they're hungry yet. Okay, so we got another butterfly people ready to go. Oh, maybe I should give them some food then. No thanks, I'm not hungry now. Well, all right then. Uh, well, I guess it's just gonna drown then. <laughs> All right, you live here now, I guess. What's up with the, the thing on your side? What's up, Peepo? Peepo? No, not yet. I know you said you like yourself, and that's great. But I mean, you're not perfect. Nobody is, except maybe me. There's got to be something you don't like about yourself. So, if you had to pick the one thing that you dislike most about yourself, what would it be? Personality? You dislike your personality? Yes. You know... Same answer for both. ...say that, but I think you're like them. You're being too hard on yourself. Unless you're a rock or a three-toed sloth, I'm sure your personality is fine. I wonder how many different answers there are for that. Like, Yeah, those are definitely legs. <laughs> it's little paddles. Oh my god, that's great. Yeah, th those are definitely legs. Okay. Huh. All right. I'm pretty sure that's all we can really do today. Still not sure what the hell is going on with the spider here, but... I guess we'll find out. And then these things, maybe... Alright, I'm gonna put one in one in this tank. And I'll leave the other one over there. Because they're, 
They clearly aren't growing over there. Those have just been sitting there for like over a week in game time. And they haven't done anything. Oh, what? Uh, excuse me? I haven't seen them do that before. Alright, they're definitely doing weirder things now. Peepo. 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 Hey. I guess it just it doesn't want to talk when it's swing backwards. Peepo. Peepo. Hey. Peepo. Talk to me. Hello. <laughs> Quit it. Quit it. It hurts. <laughs> Hello. Peepo. What do you want? Talk to me. What's so, up? I think it's really interesting that when I asked you what you like best about yourself, you did not choose a physical characteristic. You must recognize that physical appearance is not the most important thing. In fact, how attractive a person is often has little or nothing to do with what they actually look like. You know what I mean. So tell me, do you think you're attractive? No? You think you're unattractive? Yes. You know, it's probably your belief that you're unattractive that's making you less attractive. I sure. think you sound like somebody's mother, but regardless of what you look like, if you believe you're attractive, your positive attitude and self-confidence will reveal themselves in your physical demeanor. A person's charm is much more alluring than the size and shape of their body. I that, think I can. I think I can. That's not how it works, Seaman. <laughs> Anything else new, Peepo? You're the stupid head. You take that back. So I know you don't think you are very attractive, but do you think other people find you attractive? No. So you think people find you unattractive? Yes. Well then, it's a good thing other people aren't the ones who have to look at you in the mirror every morning. That's for sure. Yes, servant. Anything else? Yes. Yes. What's up? Nothing much. So, not too long ago, I asked you if you liked yourself. Now I have a slightly different question for you. Do you think other people like you? Sure. You do think people like you? Yes. Well, that's good. You like yourself, and you think other people like you. That sounds pretty healthy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Anything new, Peepo? Amazing. Well, yes, I guess so. Yes. Put this tongue in that mouth. Dream on. I will. Anything else? What do you want? Sure. Let's talk, Peepo. We've been talking a lot about how you see yourself and how other people see you. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever seen yourself on TV or on video? Yes. So I guess you know then that the rumor about the camera adding 10 pounds isn't true. 
it adds at least 20. And a couple of unsightly fins. It can be weird seeing yourself on video. Were you surprised by the way you looked? No? Well then, I guess you are just very comfortable with seeing your naked body in all those positions. Oh, wait, maybe you haven't seen that video yet. That's my other account, see man Let's not talk about that. What? <coughs> you say you like yourself and you think that other people like you. That's good. But then you also say you don't think you are very attractive. In general, do you consider yourself to be a pretty confident person? Yes. That's good. But still, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself about the way you look. That's not the important thing about you. Remember that. Man, this game is really... Really gets in your fucking head. Anything else, C-Man? Hello. Hey, people. What's up? Not much. Any other deeply personal questions? Oh, did they eat half of the... Oh, this, this thing's still just chilling over here. All right. What else? Anything else for me? Yes. Yes. What's up? Peepo. Peepo. Well, gosh. More questions? Peepo? Yeah, I put a, uh, I planted one of these over there because there was, there was two over here that have just been sitting there for like seven in-game days, just not doing anything. So if, if they weren't, um, if they weren't sprouting into a new plant here, then I, I figured they, they probably had to, had to be put into the, uh, the other thing. And these still haven't hatched yet, so I'm not sure what's what's up with these. Maybe we're gonna get two spiders that hatch, and then we'll be completely screwed because we won't be able to do anything. All right, anything more from anything else? It'll cost you a buck. Oh, what? Sure. What else? Right, I know. Well, I'll talk to you later, my friend. Okay. Good night, Seaman. Hello. All right. Okay. Would you like to save and end the session? I would. All right, I'm going to step away for a couple minutes here. And I'll be back. And we'll continue this insane psychological delving journey through Seaman. Let me get this all rebooted. And uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right. Another Super Mario RPG remix. Huh? Okay. More semen. to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. Very well. Do you notice 
The gill man has begun to sprout legs, preparing for the next step in his evolution. Land. Land. However, this tank holds only water at the moment. Yeah. Changes must be made to facilitate the new appendages. Also, with the addition of legs, this creature can no longer be referred to as gill man. Rather, he'll be referred to as podfish from this point forward. Podfish? Okay. At the moment, the habitat contains two podfish. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. Okay. So let us head over to the tank. So maybe they want the, the tank hotter than uh, a gillman would have, maybe? I'm guessing? No, I'm pretty sure it's podfish, not quadfish. Oh, baby. A soul blazer. Oh, jeez, they got... <laughs> I'm really, really, really hungry. I thought I was going to die. Soul Blazer is the first game in the Grand Stream Saga Quadrilogy, by the way. So this is practically a Grand Stream Saga remix. I'm finally starting to defrost. Food sounds really good right now. Give me something to eat. Yeah, that's true. There, there's really no reason to play the other ones. I'm hungry now. And the Grand Streams exists. Okay. They're hungry. And we got... Uh... Alright, those have hatched. And then, what the hell? This one just got enormous? So this, this other uh, plant thing still hasn't done anything else. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this one over in the, the tank. So hey, why don't you feed me? Food sounds really good right now. Yeah, so that one's already sprouted. All right. Why don't you feed? Hey, thanks for the food. Still no food yet? There's food right there. Yum, food. I want the recipe for whatever that was. Okay, so there. Oh man, that. Hello? Is anyone out there? Good afternoon. Don't you ever sleep? What's up? Did you know that on this day in 1903, the Wright brothers made their first flight? Remember that next time you're watching an in-flight movie. I see. Talk to the Finn. This, this animation is quality. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Good evening, peer people. Hello. All right. What's up? Not much. What can I do to change your tank? Repair tank. Okay, there was... What's up? Actually, come to think of it. What's new? 
put this tongue in that mouth, dream on. Yeah. So tell me, do you mm. own a computer? Yes. So you own a computer, right? Yes. You have a computer, and yet you'd rather sit here and talk to me. Well, that's touchy. No, really, it is. Bet. Yep. I guess in, in 2000, still wasn't super common to have a computer, I guess. What's up, C-Man? What? Hello? Hey, Peepo. What's up? Sure. Okay, so the, the manual had had something to say about uh, uh, mushroomers, yeah, base controls, converse, um, the light switch, heater, feeding seaman, kiss seaman, good night, living in harm. Uh, Growth process. You must help Seaman become free of the confines of the habitat. So that's imperative at some point. Okay, so th this is kind of where we're at right now. That uh... secondly, imperative at some I point. I think I'd like to make a baby. Oh, that feels good. I'm not even gonna say... Not even gonna say it. Okay, maybe I will. Seaman docking. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, wait. Does he just fucking die? He's just... What? Uh Okay Sure Can we All right, get out the shoe box Uh Okay then. What the fuck just happened? Peepo? How was it? Anything new in Japan? <laughs> Hello, Peepo. Hi, Fuzzy. What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, Seaman, don't play that. Okay, that that's great that they put in a response for that. I I think that's uh, was around the same time. Shit. I wonder if that was on purpose. All right. Uh 
Okay. Anything? Okay, we got three of those now. Soon to have four. Okay. We're just going to have moths for days, apparently. All right. So, so yeah, back to this. Um, secondly, imperative at some point that you transform the habitat aquarium into a terrarium, a habitat that contains land for seaman, as this is crucial to aiding in its evolution. But not to worry, seaman will assist you in achieving this goal when the time is right. All right. So I, I have a feeling it's um it's probably got something to do with moving those rocks around. You want to move the rock, eh? Oh yeah. Well, if you want my help, you're going to have to answer my riddle first. If a human types sixty words a minute for eight hours a day, six days a week, what does it have after seven months? Hand pain. Very good. You're smarter than I thought, human. Yeah! <laughs> All right, I'll give you a hand. Oh, fuck. All right, I'm smarter than a, a fish at the human head. It's got a... It's got a circle with a line through it on the VMU right now. Uh... Just a little bit more. It moved a little bit. I think something's going to happen if we move this rock all the way. Well, let's do I'll it. Be ready to try this again in a little bit, I think. Yes, while you're, while this corpse is just over here. <laughs> okay. Is it gonna take like a month to push over this fucking thing? What do you say we rest up for a second, huh? I'm not used to this sort of manual labor. Okay. Maybe it needs 60 seconds? Huh? I'm not sure what moving that rock over is going to accomplish, but... Maybe this ring has something to... Hmm. Wait a little longer. My limbs feel like they're going to pop off if I don't recuperate first. Alright, well you're doing a lot of swimming there for somebody recuperating. Wait a little longer. My limbs feel like they're going to pop off if I don't recuperate first. Yeah, this is probably going to be the water part. And then this will be land, I'm guessing. Yeah, if there's like, if there's a drain underneath here, then that would, that would make sense. And then it probably has to be able to grab onto this at some point and then... Maybe hop over the, the tank wall. All right, Seaman, man come on. Again? Come on, I need a little rest. Maybe he needs a day. Uh, hmm. And there's still spider here. Sure. All right, rested now. Again? Come on, I need a little rest.
Th this is resting, huh? Okay, maybe maybe it does just need a day. Okay. Well. Give it one last try here. All right, it's quiz time again. Oh, okay. Tell me, how many lives does a cat get? One. You asked someone, didn't you? Okay, let's give this a shot then. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be some dumbass riddle every single time. So that was, that was what, like two minutes, I think, in between pushes? Yeah, I think that was two minutes. <sighs> Because it's, uh... I'm telling you, if I move this rock, something cool will happen. It better be cool. Because it's been seven minutes since the, uh, the other seaman died. So it's certainly been less time than that. The third time's the charm. I hope. What do you say we rest up for a second, huh? Okay. I'm not used to this sort of manual labor. So I think we need to wait until that's at the uh, the 11 minute mark. Okay. And then that'll ostensibly drain the uh, drain the pool, and that should allow more um, more evolution, I guess. I don't know. Anything about the corpse? No, not really. They, um... Uh, most of the other corpses have just, uh, disappeared after, um, a save and a, uh, a restart. Or a load. I think they just, uh, they just kind of go like that on their own. In real time. Am I having fun? Uh, this game, this is one of those games that isn't like fun. It's an experience. It's like, can you have fun with a Tamagotchi? You know, it's, it's the journey. Not so much the, the destination. And this, this is certainly unique. Like this is an experience. It's not an experience I want to do over and over again, or let's say more than once. But I'm glad that I played this. Because this is this is one of the more unique games that's ever been released. And I I wanted to beat this anyways because I had to I had to buy this fucking microphone for the Dreamcast, so I might as well play the one game that needs this microphone. <laughs> Because that wasn't free. I had to get that from Japan. Because the uh, the Dreamcast microphone is not cheap. And the cheapest one I found was from a seller in Japan. And I think I paid like... God, like 35 bucks for it. So... You're damn right I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this game and beat it. Because <laughs> I invested in this, this dumb Dreamcast uh, microphone thing. All right. 11 minutes. Let's see if we can move the rock. Is it quiz time? It's quiz time. It's again. quiz time. If you answer correctly, I'll give you a hand with the rock. Ready? If you put a blue lamp next to a yellow lamp in a room with white walls, what color will the walls be? Green. Sorry, the answer is white. Well, guess I can't help you then, can I? What? Okay, let's try this again, shall we? 
Here's my next question. If a man yells for seven days straight and his pitch raises an octave every three hours, what does he have at the end of the week? A sore throat. Correct. Very good. All right, I'll help you with the rock then. See, so, so he's just expecting smart ass answers every single time. <laughs> see, man, I didn't raise you like this. Why are you like this, see, man? It's got to move sometime. <sighs> All right. Apparently something cool is going to happen. I'm ready for it. Wow. Look at what we did. I'm pooped. Let's try again tomorrow. I, uh, wow, that, okay, do we, do we have like a week of this? <laughs> okay, do we have any more caterpies here? Okay, we got two caterpies coming up. This is going to give me a copyright notice. Thanks, Rainwave. Would you like to save and end the session? This is their streamer friendly playlist. Uh huh. This is going to get me a, a full on takedown from Konami. <laughs> ready for some more riddles good evening welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset greetings and welcome back you're doing a good job First, a recap of your previous visit. The podfish's legs have completely developed. Did you see the podfish mate? It seems that the tubes atop their heads have even more uses than we thought. However, the male podfish died immediately afterwards. It is unfortunate, but he spent every last bit of energy ensuring the continuation of his species. I'm sure he has no regrets. Do you recall that when you tried to move the rock, the podfish helped you? While neither you nor Seaman can move the rock alone, working together, you were able to move it, if only slightly. At the moment, the habitat contains one podfish. He is suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Do they have different sexes? Uh, not that I could tell. They just, they both had different uh, colorations, but that's about it. Outwardly, they otherwise looked identical. There have been, the only ones that I've seen that have differences is the, there's two different types of caterpillars. Or caterpies, these things. Uh, which they haven't hatched yet. Uh oh, the spider's on the loose. And this one's enormous for some reason. Like there's... So this one's like bright green and I've also seen like a more bluish colored one. 
But that's about it. I'm not sure what Spider's up to. Huh. Weird. Oh, we got another uh, plant thing. I'm cold. Oh, sweet oxygen. Hey, fruit. Ah, you go. I'm cold. Wait, what is this? So uh, this. Oh, goody. This rock looked, uh, looked different for some reason. Okay. It's about time. Okay. Hey, you. Yes. What's up? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Whatever. Uh, it, My stomach is growling. Oh, okay. I figured that's what he wanted. And I guess it's not he. <laughs> Either. I should stop misgendering my seaman. Peepo is a she. All right. Uh, do we have anything to feed? We do. All right. We got two newborn caterpies that. Oh. Or not? What the hell? Oh. Oh. There we go. All right. Hey, thanks for the food. I'm not hungry anymore. All right. Just just leave the other half of the the Caterpie corpse over here. All right. All right, it's riddle time. All right. Here's another one. What do you have if you put a cat in a fish bowl? An angry cat. Right you are. All right. I'll give you a hand. This is so stupid. <laughs> Though also cats will will willingly get in a fishbowl just to be in it. Because that's what cats do. That's just normal cat things. Just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a, another cutscene, I guess. Yeah, cats love bowls. Cats will change their shape to fill their container. Up to and including a fishbowl. All right. Okay. All right. This is this is much different now. Okay. So Yeah, so we only get heater now. Heater and light. Mother. I'm frightened. And apparently 19 is is too cold now. Yeah, so it's got to be at least 20, I'm guessing 20 to 25.
Hello, people. Yeah. Hello. Whatever. All right, we haven't we haven't tickled people in a while. <laughs> what? Oh, knock it off. <laughs> What's new, people? Nothing much. Well, so do you own a Mac or a PC? Both. Quiet, you yard ape. <laughs> what? Uh, yes. It'll cost you a buck. What's new, Peepo? Peepo? No, thanks. Nice jump, Peepo. Peepo. No, thanks. Any more questions? What's new? What's new with you? What's up? Water? What else is new? Hey, Peepo. Peepo. Yes. Any more questions? You're just not my type. Well, well, yeah, you're a fish. Yes. I agree. Not much. Why? Sure. Yes. Okay. Not sure if there's anything else we can really do today. Maybe the more evolution will happen overnight. I wonder if we can... Can we move these now, maybe? Yeah, so we can move these a little bit more now. Hmm. Can we move this thing? Okay. And these, I... No idea. Okay. Anything new? Peepo. No, not yet. Okay, okay. I guess we're done for the day. Oh, oh. All right, the miracle of life over here. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh Sure. All right, we got two more eggs there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Guess. Guess we're done for for this in-game day. I guess. All right. On to the next.
Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. Yeah. Very well. Your team effort with the podfish to create dry land was very impressive. Congratulations on a job well done. At the moment, the habitat contains one podfish. He is enjoying a comfortable environment. Please continue your good work watching after him. Allow me to divulge today's highlights. The pregnant podfish will soon give birth. Make sure you do not miss this dramatic experience. So let us head over to the tank. All right. Still saying him, by the way. I... Okay. Sure. All right. Time for the, the dramatic birth. Hey, listen up. Yes. Hello. Good morning. Perhaps you should hit a mall today. I have a feeling you still need to get some stocking stuffers for people. Thing new oh oh we're down to oh wait no there's still okay we got two new ones of those anything new with the spider mm, just doing spider things Seaman has both saved relationships and probably destroyed just as many. Let's be real here. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to witness the miracle of birth. Good morning, people. What do you want? I'm ready, Peepo. Talk to the fin. Let me start over. I said... So, do you own a Mac or a PC? PC. Yeah, you and the rest of the world. So, what kind of PC do you have? IBM? Ah, personal computer. I C B M. Sure. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm trying to think what computer did I have back then? Like, I, I think I still did make my own computer. Yeah, and he said I C B M. I, no idea. Like, I think I had a, a case from Compaq, but uh, I, I bought the parts myself and put them together myself, even in, in 2000. It had a 500 megahertz processor, uh, a Celeron 500 megahertz, an Asus motherboard. Um, I think in 2000 it had a, uh, I think it had a Banshee still. Uh... Uh, Sound Blaster Live, I think. And, yeah. 
but I, I don't think Seaman would have accepted that answer. <laughs> Hey, Peepo. 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 What's new? Peepo? Hello. Good morning. Talk to me, Peepo. Stop it. Let me go. What are you... Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive me. What's up? You. Well, you know I try. So, do you own a laptop or a desktop? Desktop. Not on the go too often, eh? I can respect that. I think laptops are quickly becoming the next cell phone in terms of how annoying they are for everyone around the user. Ain't that the fucking truth? Oh, man. Hey, you're welcome, Pikachu Tears. Uh... Peepo? Oh god. Every time it does this animation, I can't talk to it for like a minute. Uh okay. Well, maybe I should plant uh oh god. Frame rate's getting noticeably worse over here. Oh man. Beautiful. Oh, there's another another moth down. I guess that's that's what the spider's for. So even if you you get rid of the spider, it'll probably uh just do that. Okay. All right. So this I probably have to plant over here. Oh, Come on. Peepo. Who? Me? Oh, stop. So what do you use your computer for? Pornography. So you use it to... <clears throat> rouse the net, huh? Yes. We'll be talking a little more about the internet later on. Yeah, we will. Hey, Peepo. What's up? Hey, around the year 2000, that that was nearly all I used the internet for. <laughs> so accurate. <laughs> Peepo. Hello. What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? Oh, give me a now saving. All right, is it time for the miracle of birth? Peepo. Time for birth. Well, you know I try. I'll try harder. What? You heard me. So, would you say the computer makes your life easier? Or more complicated. Complicated. Hmm. I see. All right. Hello, Peepo. Good morning. Morning. 
you were saying before that you own a computer, so I'm assuming you are not unfamiliar with computers, what they do and so forth. Would you be willing to say that the computer is the number one invention of the 20th century? Yes. I guess I'd have to agree with you. I mean, computers don't just hang out on your desk. They're also in a lot of other things you depend on, like cars and kitchen appliances and things like that. And yet most people are already taking them for granted. I'm glad you see their importance, though. <laughs> yeah, this, this game is crazy. And uh, Leonard Nimoy told me just prior to this, this in-game day that it's about to get even wilder. Oh, now it's it's too cold again. Oh wait, no, blue is blue is the the normal temperature. All right, do I need to turn the lights off or? Mother, I'm frightened. Hey, I'm trying to sleep in here. Hey, people. Hello. Here it comes. Uh oh. Oh no, that that's a different kind of birth. <laughs> hey people. Hello. What's up? Nothing much. Just pooping. You're the stupid head. Yeah, I know. Weren't you about to give birth? What? <laughs> All right. It's just clearing out the tubes. <laughs> Hey, people. What? What's up? Mm, no, but thanks for asking. No, really. Well, as you can see, I find computers pretty fascinating. They've changed everything around you so much that you probably couldn't even visualize a world without them. And of course, as with any huge technological advance, they've brought with them a lot of dangers to watch out for. But I still think the good that computers have brought to the world outweighs the evils. It's just important for you humans to communicate with each other and not become overly dependent on your machines. And that's all I have to say on the subject. Let's talk again sometime soon. I am talking to a computer right now. Do you realize the irony of this whole conversation? <sighs> I'm just here for the miracle of life. Just, just, just get it over with, Peepo. Peepo? What do you want? Leonard Nimoy promised me the miracle of birth. No, I'm fine. Sure. Goodbye. Good night, Peepo. Good night. Okay. I guess the miracle of birth will have to wait another in-game day. <laughs> All right. Would you like to save and? <laughs> sure.
All right. Miracle of Birth, the next in game day, I'm guessing. All right. How much did we disappoint Leonard Nimoy this time? Good evening. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings and welcome back. You're doing a good job. At the moment, the habitat contains one, podfish. He is enjoying a comfortable environment. Please continue your good work watching after him. Allow me to divulge today's highlights. The pregnant podfish will soon give birth. Make sure you do not miss this dramatic experience. So let us head over to the tank. All right, let's. Hopefully it actually happens today. Rather than a whole bunch of just jumping out of the water. night visit huh? sure hello people what do you want so tell me do you use the internet yes so you surf the net yes good you have to keep up with technology or you'll never make it in this day and age all right, we already had this conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah? What else, Peepo? Yes. Good morning, Peepo. Peepo. No, leave me alone. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh, now, now saving, okay. Is the time? I guess we're waiting for another now saving icon. Hey, Peepo. Peepo? No, I don't think so. Is it time? Eh? You know what I'm talking about. What's up? Sure. What's up? People hasn't had to eat in a while. Uh. Oh no, you're not getting off that easy. Yes. Sir, I like the sound of that.
I... Maybe there's another... Like, plot thing that I haven't done yet? Like, moving... Move the rock over here or something? That doesn't do anything. Hmm. <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Maybe you need to have all these plants be fully grown before, uh... Before birth? I don't know. Uh, oh. Spider got another one. Oh, we can save it. <laughs> okay. No, you dumbass. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. Stop it. All right. Well, sure, fine. <sighs> Kill me. All right, let's uh, let's give another one of these to Peepo. Another sacrifice. No thanks, I'm still full. Hey, Peepo. What's up? What's up? Just having a lovely little swim. So. This World Wide Web. What do you use it for? Pornography. You use it for pornography? Yes. Well, at least you're an honest pervert. What's up, people? Peepo? No, I don't think so. Don't look at me like that, Peepo. What? <laughs> Stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> sure. What? Peepo, it's time. Sure. Fun. Do you ever use email? Yes. So you email people? Yes. Do you prefer to keep in touch with people through email or the telephone? Email. Yes, I know what you mean. Those emoticons just can't be expressed with words. Smiley. Kappa. Omega lol. What's up? Now, here's something that you might be interested in as an internet user. Do you think the internet should be censored? No. So you don't think the internet should be censored, is that right? Yes. Yes. Well, that's not surprising, considering you're such a big fan of downloadable nudie pictures. Yeah! count on the pervert vote in the free internet debate. Man, this game. 
This goes hard in the paint. <laughs> it takes one to know when, see man. See man? What do you want? What's new, Peepo? Not a lot. Sure. Yes. Yes. Put this tongue in that mouth. Dream on. Sure. What do you want? So it seems like it's it's either on a timer or like an amount of interactions between questions. Sure. Hey, Peepo. It's a secret. So, as I was saying before, there are a lot of really amazing things about the internet, but as with everything else, it's not completely perfect. Think of it this way. You can do almost anything on the internet. Work, shop, chat, get the news, play games, listen to music, and pretty much anything else you want to do. That's all terrific, but pretty soon people won't even need to leave their homes in order to conduct their daily business. You humans are going to get lazier and less mobile and forget how to deal with each other face to face. I think things could get pretty ugly a few decades down the road. Do you think the internet is dangerous? Absolutely. Well, I think it's good that you're exercising a little caution about your internet use. Fire is a wonderful thing, but I wouldn't want to sit on a sofa made out of it. A place for everything and everything in its place. Isn't that how the saying goes? Well, I don't know about you, but I've enjoyed this little chat about the internet. It can be a wonderful thing. For the first time ever, people can finally communicate with each other and not have race, gender, or culture prejudices get in the way. <laughs> so in if, that sense, if it can only. be a great tool for removing biases and bringing people together. After all, on the internet, nobody has to know I'm a seaman. On the other hand, like I said, it can be very dangerous because it removes the need to interact directly with the outside world, especially with other people. It's up to all of you humans to decide how to use the internet intelligently so that it won't harm you. Seaman has solved racism, apparently. <laughs> Alright, we have the perfect song to, to give birth to here. It's time, Seaman. Hello. What if that star is not to come? Will our dreams fade to nothing? Till the horizon darkens more. We all need Who turned out the lights? To believe there is hope. See, man. Hello. It's time, Peepo. You bet. This is going to be a big one. Well, <laughs> I don't think that's what Leonard anymore meant. I'm ready, Peepo. Where's my miracle of birth? Peepo? 
What's up? Hey, what's up? Well? No, I'm not cold. Now, go think about what I've said and we'll talk again later. Wow, I'm even better looking on land. Uh. Uh. We got a a circle with the the thing on it. Circle with a line through it. All right, which end is it coming? Oh, there it is. All right. Goodbye. What? What? Uh. Peepo? Peepo? <laughs> Peepo? Oh my god. Uh... Um... Oh, these are- these are tadpoles. So they're gonna- they're gonna turn into the frogs. Okay. I can't pick him up though, so. Hello? Hello? Huh. 
So we we told it about the internet and then and then it died. <laughs> All right. And then we still got still got this. Okay. I'm wondering if I need to like do I need to move the bring the water level back up maybe or just okay it's the so the heater is still just right it seems Man, frame rate gets especially bad. 15 FPS with those eggs. It must be rendering like the, the full detailed models. Okay. Sure. Well, it, it seems like we still got a fair amount of game left here. So... I'm not sure there's much more we could do today, though, if we can't, uh, do anything with these. Oh, sure. Okay. I can't move Peepo over. Okay, well, sure. Would you like to save and end the session? I sure would. Okay, well, I guess we're not beating Seaman tonight. <laughs> what what a weird-ass game. Holy hell. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to to finish this tomorrow, maybe? Or it, it, even if it even can be finished tomorrow? Jeez. I was expecting to beat this tonight, but... That's on me for assuming how long this game is.